Chapter 26 Be careful not to get eaten. Jean Potion. Dot found it. After searching in the points mall, Kanki Ken finally saw it. No matter how much it was, he just bought it. It just costs 200 points, which is a bit heartbreaking. Then just buy yourself a handy weapon. Kong Zan picked up the coffee cup and took a sip. What dot are you talking about? Li Shi listened at a loss. Don't understand. Why do I need you to understand, little pet? Kong Zan turned his head slightly and looked at Li Shi beside him. He put his arm on her shoulders and pinched her cheek. Talk. There was a group of girls on his boat. Can't let go. It seems not bad to take an adult female back, and you can do some indescribable things. By the way, are ghoul bodies really the same as humans? Check back. Just checking. But Kong Zan's intimate act was also very attractive to her. She swallowed. His face turned crimson. I never thought that I could not eat the food that came to my mouth. It's so uncomfortable. Well, this guy is a pure foodie. If you don't say it. Don't say it. Li Shi pretended to be calm. But this feeling is really like a thousand ants crawling on your body, which makes you want to stop. Hateful. Li Shi decided that sooner or later, he would eat the man in front of him. Num. What a greedy ghoul. Seeing how greedy the child is, his body is trembling a little. Shaking and shaking. Li Shi, are you okay? Kong Zan asked helplessly when he saw this. No. Li Shi took a deep breath and suppressed his desire again. Jin Mu, let's go first. Kong Zan turned around and stood up, waving to him. After all. He just came over to take a look. Okay, goodbye, brother Kong Zan. Jin Muian also nodded. Mr. Khan Ki, bye. Be careful not to get eaten. Li Shi also smiled, and then immediately followed Kong Zan's pace. Eat. Khan Ki Ken looked at Ryo, first startled by that smile, and then felt a little complicated. When Kong Zan passed by Kairi Shimatuka, he glanced at her, then left, as for checkout. It must be Khan Ki Ken's treat. After all, he saved his life, but neither of them finished the drink and hundreds of millions of points were wasted. Then, I spent 100 points to bring Li Shi back. Dash, Windmill Village, Tavern. Business is booming. The tavern was full of people. After all, the sun is still shining right now. The time is different on both sides. It's already dark over there, but it's only afternoon here. Kong Zan walked into the tavern. Li Shi, who has long purple hair and a white dress, followed closely behind. She doesn't wear glasses. I lost my glasses a long time ago, but she attracted the attention of many male villagers. After all, this figure, Appearance, and temperament are indeed very attractive. Brother Kong Zan is back. By the way, who is she? Yari asked curiously when she saw Kong Zan coming back with an unknown woman. The new handyman on the ship, plus pets. Kong Zan said, holding the chain around her neck and pulling her over. Her name is Kamidai Rise, a ghoul. She feeds on human flesh and blood. Apart from eating people. She is actually just like humans in other aspects. She is a bit different, Kong Zan said directly. Using dot human beings as food. Yamato was a little confused. Mikasa was also dumbfounded. The handymen on her ship were all weird guys. A psychopath, a man-eating monster. The surrounding villagers also heard Kong Zan's words and were a little confused, because they had never heard of such a guy. But he was still very scared. After all, if he really eats people. Just like that, the villagers all started discussing in low voices. Don't be afraid, I will keep an eye on her. Kong Zan stroked his forehead. These villagers are also ordinary people, so they will definitely be scared when they hear about cannibal ghouls. Robin came over curiously. Ghoul? I have never seen such a creature in the books, and it looks exactly like a human being. Jean Robin whispered. It's a lie, right? It looks exactly like a human being, so how can it eat humans? A bold villager said strangely. After all, such creatures do not exist in this world and it is normal to be weird. Yeah, dot it's really just like human beings. Can it really eat people? Another villager also didn't believe what Kong Zan said. Because in such a scene, they are more like slaves than other species. A normal person would think so of a young girl with her neck tied by a chain. But some villagers are still scared. Huh? You guys are really noisy. Besides, I don't seem to be talking to you. I'm just talking to my crew. Kong Zan heard the noise around him and sighed slightly, frowning, a little unhappy. To be honest, these villagers have nothing to do with him. It's a bit baffling that some strangers are meddling in their own affairs and still don't believe their own words. It seems that this group of people were attracted by Li Shi's appearance, so they gathered together to listen to him, and then started to question him inexplicably. It seems that he is slandering Li Shi, a beautiful woman. There will always be people who want to be heroes and win the hearts of beautiful women. It's really baffling. All I can say is that these people are a bit out of their minds. It's not impossible if you want to become her food, Li Shi. What do you think? Kong Zan looked at her and asked flatly. It's true. I'm a little hungry. If it's possible, would you let me eat them all? Li Shi said, licking his lips and feeling his somewhat empty stomach. Looking at these villagers is really like looking at food. After all, the food before was in vain. She was indeed hungry. However, such a look suddenly made the surrounding villagers tremble. It seemed like he really wanted to eat them. These villagers suddenly became scared. If they really wanted to eat them, these villagers would really look like cowards. Kong Zan saw that these villagers were silent. 
He took a chair and sat at Yamato's table. Look at how scared they are. As soon as Kong Zan finished saying this, some villagers would take a chance and think that what Li Shi said before was a bluff. But no one dared to mess with their speech anymore. Li Shi, you can also get a chair to sit on. Kong Zan turned away from Li Shi and spoke. Okay. Li Shi nodded, very obediently found a chair and sat next to Kong Zan. Kong Zan looked at the number of people. Yamato, Yeri, Mikasa, Robin, Arya, Rise. No one was missed. Pretty good. Kong Zan looked around and saw Majinet at the bar. She was looking at herself too. Makino. Together, Kong Zan waved to her. When Majinet saw this, he quickly came over. Can she really eat people? Makino looked at Li Shi with some fear. Although she looks so human. But I'm really afraid of her eating people. Oh my gosh, my little sister looks delicious too. Li Shi said with a smile. She is really hungry. Li Shi's gaze frightened Majinet. After all, she was still a child. Kong Zan had no choice but to give Li Shi a knife. Be patient. He told her. Then he turned to Majinet, waved his hand, and said, As you can see, as long as I'm here, don't worry. Nothing big will happen. By the way, Majinet, get a small bucket of juice. Make some more food, sit here, and let's eat together. Kong Zan said to Majinet. Okay. Majinet nodded. Seeing Kong Zan's confident look, she was relieved. She went to the back to get ready. Kong Zan whispered in Li Shi's ear, If you are really hungry, I will take you to eat later. When Li Shi heard Kong Zan's words, his eyes widened, looking a little happy, and suddenly hugged him it held his arm and the indescribable thing merged the arm into it. Then she whispered in Kong Zan's ear, I find that I like you more and more, my master. This time, her excessive joy made her recognize that the man in front of her was her master. I'm afraid he will regret it. After all, I was really hungry. And she can't eat human food, which is really bad. If she could eat people, that would be really great for her. Okay, then be obedient. Kong Zan smiled and touched Li Shi's head with his other hand. Of course I'm obedient. Li Shi rubbed her pink cheek against Kong Zan's shoulder. I thought that if I was caught by a human and starved for a long time, I might starve to death. But I didn't expect that this human being would be so kind to me. You can make dinner in the evening. All the crew members looked at Li Shi's behavior. Silent feelings. So big. So bold. Chapter 27 Pray everyone went home to sleep. Kong Zan took Li Shi to look for food. Hold me tight. It's a little far away. Kong Zan hugged Li Shi into his arms and hugged her waist. Li Shi hugged the back of Kong Zan's neck and buried his head in his arms. She looks very well behaved, like an obedient little wife. Floating, Kong Zan said calmly. There seemed to be a burst of light coming from his body. Kong Zan hugged Li Shi and flew up. The magic of Bone King is convenience. You actually dot flied. You are indeed dot not an ordinary human being. Absolutely not a human being. Li Shi looked a little surprised and hugged Kong Zan tightly with both hands. This is her first time flying. It's a bit high and she'll definitely get hurt if she falls. There are no pivot points nearby. It's literally floating out of thin air. It's too much if it's not a human. It really is. It's really troublesome to keep a path that eats people. Thank Thanks to the lack of rule of law in this world, there are many humans with low combat power. If it were in another world, they would all be very powerful. Human being, you are in trouble. Kong Zan said to Li Shi. Other worlds. Sure enough, this is not the previous world. It's amazing to be here in the blink of an eye. You're not a god, are you? Li Shi's bold idea emerged from his mind. His eyes were curious and he blinked twice quickly. Why do some people always say that I am a god? Kong Zan sighed. Is my current power really as strong as a god? No matter how you think about it, it's impossible. Even a guy like Quen Wang who casually wiped out several universes could only play around in the Dragon Ball plane. But if you want to be called a god in the second dimension or the entire dimension, just destroying the power of a few universes will definitely not make you a god. You are my pet and I am your master, that's all. Li Shi turned his head slightly and looked at the man's face. I really want to eat, master. I'm hungry. Li Shi's aggrieved voice came. Why are you still feeling wronged? Kong Zan's eyes twitched. Li Shi, where is your character? Question mark. Yes, let me hurry up. Kong Zan felt helpless, and then set off at a faster speed. The purpose is the waste terminal, where a group of people pick up treasures in the garbage. All the trash in the city is dumped here. We arrived at the place after a few minutes. It's actually quite fast. This place is really dirty. Li Shi was a little disgusted. After all, it's a garbage dump. Definitely dirty. Not to mention Li Shi. Kong Zan couldn't stand it any longer. There was a sour smell everywhere. Okay, okay, you can move around freely. You can eat whatever you want from the people here. They are basically pirates and some useless people anyway. Don't eat the skin. It's too dirty. It will spoil your stomach. It's not good. You can eat some muscle and visceral fat. Also, if you can't fight, come to me. The city gate is just opposite. If you can't, just go to the city and eat a few. I don't care. Kong Zan waved his hand casually. Then he found a place to sit down and chatted with Li Shi for a while. Well. I'm really hungry, master, no need to say anything, let me eat. Li Shi stuck out his tongue and licked his lips. Just wait for Kong Zan to agree. Go ahead, go ahead. Kong Zan didn't stop him. There aren't many good things here anyway. Just let her go and have a good time. When Li Shi saw Kong Zan agreed, 
He immediately ran over. There are many simple small houses here, which were built by homeless people. Li Shi walked in without saying anything. The people inside were all sleeping. Then she heard screams, and she used her scales to kill everyone in the small house first. Then there was the sound of biting. The whites of her eyes turned black and the pupils were red. Delicious. So delicious. It's just like what the owner said. The skin doesn't feel clean, the muscles are a bit hard to chew, and the blood and fat taste good. But she felt people in the city should know it. It tastes better. The master also agreed. Then go ahead, Li Shi said. He was full of curiosity about the humans in the city. Is it the same as the ones eaten in the previous world? The taste is also very delicious. She rushed out of the cabin. Run to the wall. Using line, she could easily climb the wall and enter the city. On the city wall, she looked at the huge city. Hey, let's start with the house closer to the street. Li Shi jumped into the house from the second floor window without saying a word. It's a girl. Quickly get that out of the way and start tasting. Someone noticed the sound and ran up to see what was going on. Have eaten. Sure enough. The people in the city taste better, the fat is just right, and they are soft and easy to eat, Li Shi said and began to eat the flesh and blood of the dead girl. It's so delicious. I don't know how long it took. Li Shi was also smart, so she quietly killed her, otherwise it would cause trouble, and it would be bad if Kong Zan wiped her butt. Dash, about two hours. Li Shi's white dress had already been stained with blood. She returned to Kong Zan's position with satisfaction. Aha, are you full? Kong Zan yawned and looked at her lazily. Dot master. Li Shi nodded, in front of Kong Zan. She looked a bit like a young girl at this moment. All right. In fact, as soon as I came over, I smelled the strong scent of Kong Zan, and I began to lose control of my heart. Even though I was full, I was still a little greedy, so I tried my best to control it. Let's go then, Kong Zan said, opening his hands. But Li Shi took off the white dress stained with blood, leaving only the clothes covering her private parts. Then, she hugged him up. You dot what are you doing? Kong Zan saw this and tilted his head. He couldn't stand this stimulation either. I just feel... It's not good if the blood is on you, master. I seem to feel. You're excited? Li Shi hugged Kong Zan. He raised his head and looked at him. There seemed to be some teasing in his eyes. Ahem, let's go. Kong Zan said and hugged Li Shi tightly. Just skip the topic. Then it floated again. Li Shi hugged Kong Zan's neck. The tempting taste keeps attracting Li Shi. Ouch. This seductive fragrance made her bite it again. Kong Zan just went with her. His words. I just felt a little itchy, but nothing else. Dash, on the boat. We're here. You go take a shower first. Kong Zan patted Li Shi on the back, indicating that she could relax. And Li Shi was reluctant to let go. Aren't you going to accompany me, master? Then he looked pitiful. Huh? Kong Zan said. You geese dot are really a sheep in a tiger's mouth. Okay, let's go. Rub your back for me. Kong Zan didn't care. Go directly to the bathroom. Alas. Shouldn't the owner give the pet a bath? Li Shi followed him and said with a smile. Kong Zan almost stumbled and fell to the ground. He really wanted to say something at this moment. Although your status is not very high. You are really eloquent and flexible, and your words are elegant. Why dot it's like Ku Yang has lost his radical. Yes, if you dare to come, I dare to take action. Stop being a coward. Kong Zan curled his lips. He looked at her hard and realized that he really had met a tank. That being the case, let's study the body structure of ghouls tonight. Slightly. Chapter 28 Comfort Noon Boy's Bedroom Kong Zan woke up in a daze, already lying on the soft big bed, and there was a familiar smell next to him. As soon as he opened his eyes, he saw a girl with purple hair next to her with her eyes closed holding her arms tightly with both hands, and chewing her fingers. It is the gods who benefit the world. Her eyes were closed very comfortably at this time. Outrageous, I'll do it. Dude, I really got rid of my innocent virginity yesterday. From the bathroom to the bedroom. The task of studying ghouls never stops. Dot so dot delicious dot tastes. Li Shi mumbled in his sleep. By the way, I didn't know at what point last night I felt too sleepy and fell asleep. Li Shi also kept eating herself as food throughout the whole process. Really speechless, still chewing it to this day. Li Shi. It's time to get up. As a handyman, why do you still sleep so late? Kong Zan pretended to be calm and stretched out his other hand. Give her a flick on the head. Well, are you awake? Li Shi opened his eyes drowsily. But, master, you're really hard to bite, and your teeth are clenched. He complained directly after seeing Kong Zan's first words. Last night, she took advantage of Kong Zan's sleep and bit him all over his body. But, not a single bite moved. So annoying. Obviously such delicious food is right next to you, so you can't eat it. Dot. Where did you bite? Kong Zan sat up and there seemed to be a lot of saliva on his body. Well, I've been bitten all over the body, especially some places that feel should be softer. Um, ears and nose. Um, things like that. Li Shi's face seemed a little rosy. Definitely. Kong Zan's scalp was numb and he signaled her not to say anything. He casually picked up the white bath towel he had wrapped himself in yesterday and used it to cover his private parts. Take a look at my clothes in the closet for yourself. It's okay to wear them. They're all covered in saliva from you. I'm going to take a shower. Kong Zan turned his head slightly and said to him. Li Shi grasped the quilt tightly, 
and it seemed that he wanted to get into the quilt. Kong Zan took a few changes of clothes from the closet and then went out. As for Li Shi, it's completely different. It's completely different from yesterday when he was looking for food like a lunatic or teasing, but now I feel a little shy. It made Kong Zan feel like her character was about to collapse. Dash, when Kong Zan walked outside, the upper body is naked and the eight pack abs and strong muscles are very conspicuous in the sunlight. The lower body is only surrounded by a white bath towel. Mikasa, who was fishing, glanced at Kong Zan and gritted her teeth. Sure enough, I should have waited for him to come back before sleeping yesterday. Mikasa felt that something must have happened. After all, Kong Zan and Li Shi were not here last night, and he saw Kong Zan like this again in the morning. Moreover, Li Shi didn't sleep in their room in the morning, so he could only sleep with Kong Zan. Mikasa felt a little sour. She also wanted to but her thoughts were very pure. She just wanted to sleep with Kong Zan and hoped that Kong Zan would hold her, which would be very warm. Thinking like this, she subconsciously touched the black towel that Kong Zan gave her. She had always liked it, and Yuri also noticed. And Mikasa's expression. Mikasa, do you like brother Kong Zan? Yuri leaned next to Mikasa and whispered into her ear. What dot what? I dot I dot he is family. Mikasa's face seemed to turn red, and it took her a long time to hold back such a sentence. Yes, family indeed. Our brother Kong Zan is a family member? Could it be that you are his daughter? Yari speculated with a shocked look on her face. No dot no, it's just dot he is family. Brother Kong's and dot saved me. I have no family anymore. He is willing to be my family. Mikasa explained intermittently. He stood up, looking a little sad. That's it. Yari nodded, as if she understood. In that case, I also want to be Mikasa's family. Yari suddenly stood up, but the sound was a bit loud and Yamato on the side also heard it. What dot become Mikasa's family? Then I want to be too, Yamato said happily. He he. Thank you. Mikasa smiled and thanked the two of them. I have a family again. But, Kong Zan is different. The feeling he gave her was dot different. Dash, bathroom. Kong Zan soaked comfortably in the bathtub. I opened my profile after a long absence. Name, Kong Zan gender, male age, 18 character abilities with no side effects. Ghost King Musin, Sekoku Enishi, Ain't So El Gaon, Bone King. Character abilities with no side effects. Vector Operation LV5 skill held. Advanced 3 color domineering. Item held. Slavery Chain X8. Ship held. Enhanced Twisdom version 1 Lee Sunshine Mission. 1. Main line. Prevent Hancock from being abducted and sold to the Celestial Dragons. 2. Long term mission. Searching for crew 3 tenths. Note. Must be a formal crew member. And the requirement is to go in both directions. Forced servitude does not count. Kong Zan looked at it because the task of finding crew members was initiated after he was recruited and boarded the ship. So there are only three. It's a pity. However, it is really difficult to get people on board in this situation. After all, many of the original people were not born. Maginot found it difficult to pull her away, as she was bound to Windmill Village after all. But Kong Zan really wants to make him a bartender on his own ship, that would be great too. It's really distressing, Kong Zan murmured to himself. But if nothing else happened, he could stay here for a long time, after all. There would really be nothing to do after all. You can also try to win over Maginot. Aha, Kong Zan yawned. I soaked in the bathtub and washed myself casually, and the saliva on my body was quickly washed off. He dried himself off and changed his clothes and pants. Washed up a bit. Then he walked out. Kong Zan looked at the bright sun today and stretched a little lazily. Ha, huh. the rusty bones seemed to be liberated. And at this time, Li Shi also walked out of the room, with long purple hair hanging down her back, slightly pink lips, a small and exquisite nose, fair skin and purple black eyes that saw the three little ones fishing. She was wearing a white loose short sleeved t-shirt and short leather pants, which looked very good. If she is not a ghoul, then she must be a close sister. At this moment, she looked at the surrounding environment curiously. After all, she had been led by Kong Zan all the time and had not taken a good look at the surrounding area. She at this moment, just standing behind the three little fishermen, the sea, looking at the endless blue sea, Li Shi couldn't help but think, what kind of world did I come to? Wow. Why don't you make any noise when you walk? Yamato seemed to hear something murmuring behind him, and turned his head and was startled. Mikasa and Hiyori also turned their heads and put down the fishing rods in their hands. You're not going to eat us. Hiyori spoke first. No, I won't eat people without the master's order. Li Shi smiled. That gentle smile immediately fascinated the three little ones. This guy dot can he really eat people? Obviously dot looking so gentle. Chapter 29 Ability at this time. A marine ran to a wooden house. Dong dong. The navy knocked on the door. The door is unlocked. 
Come in. A voice came from inside, Greek. Hai Jun immediately opened the door and entered the wooden house. Close the door behind you. In the cabin, there is a tall, broad-chested, muscular old man with a scar on his left eye. His eyes are blue, and his black hair is mixed with a little white hair. This man is none other than the naval hero Monkey D. Garp. Garp sat on the sofa with his legs spread boldly. He also held a bag of senpai in his hand. Lieutenant General Garp, there is a very large ship in the port. Don't conduct a search, the Navy officer reported to Garp. After all, Garp had been with the bandit Darden yesterday and handed little Esto over to the bandit Darden to raise. As soon as they got home today, these navies discovered that there was an additional large ship in the port, so they reported it. Ship. It doesn't have a pirate flag, so there's no need to check. Maybe it's a tourist or adventurer, but keep an eye on it. If you want to harm the villagers, go up and stop it immediately, Garp said. I held the senpai in my hand and started chewing it. Every mouthful of food is full of dregs. Understood. The navy nodded seriously. By the way, Lieutenant General Garp, it seems that a few people died in the town this morning, and they were bitten to death. Should we intervene in this matter? After all, the Kingdom of Goa is also a government alliance country. Then the Navy reported again. Ah, uh, I finally took a vacation. Let them solve it by themselves first. If they can't solve it, we will help. Garp scratched his head, with a look of distress on his face. I didn't expect that I would have to work even though I was on vacation. What a world. Yes, I will go over there now to investigate their situation. The Navy nodded immediately. Walked out of the cabin. Dash. Kong Zan was lying leisurely on the lounge chair, wearing sunglasses and a white shirt and basking in the sun. His feet were placed on the stool opposite, and Aria and Rishi were pressing his feet. This little life was really leisurely. Yamato picked up the weighted version of the mace next to him and started swinging it. This was necessary for training. But, when Kong Zan asked her to kill the enemy, it was better to use a sword. She is naturally very obedient. And recently, they have been studying super locks and found that they can also create suitable weapons at will. The dark's blue mace in Yamato's hand is an entity created by the super lock, and can be increased in weight at will through the super lock. It's a very good weapon. In the same way, when using a super lock to create a sword, you can also make it very light, so that the physical strength consumed by swinging the sword is minimized and the speed is even faster. It reaches a state where having a sword is like having no sword, and being without a sword is better than having a sword. In addition, you can also use the power of ice elements and so on. The Ari's words are suitable for range chain output. After all, her flames are not inferior to the burning fruit. Her flames can even burn magma until it decomposes, evaporates, or even explodes, and may also directly destroy or change its chemical properties. Who said that flame is the inferior part of magma? The upper temperature limit of flame is much higher than that of magma. Magma is usually at 1000 degrees Celsius to 1200 degrees Celsius and the flame can reach tens of thousands of degrees. Even increasing the flame temperature again through the accumulation of heat can produce hundreds of millions of degrees. Just magma? It's not like playing. Then perform a swallowing of magma. Flames are all basic abilities. After all, this superlock is the holy beast, the Suzaku of flame. Mikaze's superlock is also quite powerful. In the darkness, she is equivalent to being invisible. This invisibility cannot even touch her. It can even be said that she is the darkness itself. She can use all dark powers. When there is sunshine, there is darkness, and when there is no sunshine, there is only darkness. Under sunlight, such as shadow, Mikasa can turn it into her own power. She can control all shadows, and even rob the shadows of control. To be honest, the last time she took action against the Mafia, it was considered as respect for them. With a little use of her abilities, she can even make the shadow materialize and fight with the shadow's owner, which would be very interesting. After she robbed the shadow, the shadow master would not die when exposed to light, but if she destroyed the shadow, the shadow master would definitely die. What's ridiculous is that even if the master of the shadow dies, the shadow still exists, Mikasa can still plunder, and the shadow and the master of the shadow have the same power. Humans are very fragile creatures, but shadows are not. If there is light in the world, there must be shadows. There is darkness in the world, and wherever darkness goes there are shadows. Darkness is shadow. This is the shadow god, the shadow demon king. This superlock dot except for its name, is a bit off. In terms of strength, it is truly impeccable. After all, I have some contact with the ability of law. Well, just think of it as Kong Zan's love for Mikasa. Kong Zan looked at Aria in front of him and was squeezing his feet. Because he didn't feel very good, he never gave her control over her body. Now he's still like a robot with an expressionless face. Kong Zan doesn't care. Master. Are you comfortable? Li Shi asked Kong Zan, his slender fingers constantly kneading Kong Zan's feet. Not bad, not bad. Kong Zan prays casually. After a pause, he still said. It would be great if Aria was as obedient as you. Aria, is this the sister? Li Shi looked at the girl next to him who was holding Kong Zan's other foot. Well, she is the daughter of a corrupt nobleman. I don't know how she went astray. She is a little misbehaved, so I have to not give her the initiative in her body. 
Kong Zan shook his head, looking a little helpless. He said and waved his hand. Let her come to you. And she could understand her gestures and walked over like a machine. Kong Zan rubbed her head. Obviously so cute, but it's a pity that he is too self-righteous and takes pleasure in torturing people. It's really a bit vicious. What do you think, Li Shi? Kong Zan said, throwing the question to Li Shi. Actually, I'm quite interested in this aspect, but I just think hearing the screams will make me excited. Li Shi said, his face turned red as if he thought that the screams of the food were indeed hers. Part of the fun. Ah. You can control it, right? If you can't control it, just be like her. Kong Zan's eyes twitched. If Li Shi can't control it, then he can be a robot that can be manipulated at will. Of course I can control it, Li Shi said without hesitation. After all, she really didn't want to be in the same state as Arya. And Kong Zan also looked at Arya. Arya, it's not okay to keep doing this. Now I'll allow you to move freely, Kong Zan said. You, Arya finally regained control of her body. But she didn't know what to say. If you don't behave, I will continue to turn you into a toy who obeys my orders. Kong Zan looked at him and said with a very flat look. Yeah, dot I'm obedient. Arya nodded briskly. It seems that he is really scared. After all, the feeling of not being able to control his body is no different from being in a dark room. She could even entertain herself in the dark in a small dark room. If she lost control of her body, she would not be able to entertain herself. If this continued, she would collapse. Kong Zan saw Arya's fearful expression and smiled. He didn't expect this kid to be scared. It seemed that this guy finally gave in during this time. Chapter 30 Little Hinata was bullied. Okay, then you can give me a shoulder squeeze. I'll watch your performance later. Kong Zan looked at Arya and spoke to her. Yeah, okay. Arya walked up behind Kong Zan and began to knead his shoulders. I won't even start to curse. Sure enough, he has become better behaved. In fact, Arya also figured it out during this time. After all, her home was gone, and she didn't know where this place was. She could see it when she went to Windmill Village before and this was a completely unfamiliar place. Now I can only follow Kong Zan, not to mention that I can't run out. Even if I run out and walk around, I will probably starve to death. At least I will have something to eat on the boat. Kong Zan opened the group chat. Kan Ki Ken, the gene enhancement potion is so powerful. I can actually break a stone with one punch now. It is indeed recommended by boss Kong Zan. Kong Zan saw the good guy directly. He was still the eldest brother before, but now he has become the boss. Is it considered an upgrade? Butamaseko? Is it so easy to use? I should be able to buy one soon. Brother Kong Zan's predictions have never failed. I feel that the probability on my side is also very high. Red eyes, at Kong Zan, what will my future be like? Chitong was a little curious and asked anyway. Kong Zan said, who should I ask if you ask me? Kong Zan, do you have any tasks recently? Let's first ask where the plot is. Red eyes, the goal tonight is to behead Zank. Saying that Seiyu is really powerful, Washang killed the ghost Okar. When the base was invaded, Many intruders were killed. Kong Zan, of course. He is the person recommended by me after all. Speaking of Chitong, you are not allowed to kill Hei Tong. Red Tong, Red Tong, do you know Hei Tong? Kong Zan, of course. Although Hei Tong is opposed to you, he was brainwashed too deeply after all. I don't want one of you two to die, and I hope that everyone will be happy. Kong Zan, I know you love her and must kill her, but this is too painful. Red Eyes, I have a mission on my back and the support of my dead comrades, so there is nothing I can do about it. Kong Zan, in short, try not to kill Hei Tong. Even if you do, give me the body. Red eyes, corpse. What's the use? Chitong felt a little strange. Kong Zan, I will resurrect her. In one sentence, all the other group members were blown away. I originally wanted to go to the theater. Kan Ki Ken, resurrection. As expected of the boss, truly comparable to a god. Mikasa, brother Kong Zan is really super strong. Butterfly Ninja, resurrection. Exclamation mark outrageous. Getting more and more outrageous. Exclamation mark. Budamaseko, one day I die, brother Kong Zan will resurrect me. Dot. Kong Zan, ahem, actually I only figured out this magic some time ago. Kong Zan, it's a pity for Mikasa's parents, because the Bone King has too many magics. He didn't think of such a magic at that time. In fact, he just wanted to take Mikasa away at the time, so he didn't think carefully about how to save it, so that's all he can say now. Red eyes. Really dot really? Can it be resurrected? Kai Tong was a little dull. Apparently, she didn't know that she was resurrected by Kong Zan. Kong Zan, yes, but after my resurrection, she will forget everything and regard me as a god. In fact, there is also the magic of direct resurrection, which does not require clearing the memory, but it cannot remove the toxins in the body. After all, Hei Tong took the kind of medicine that consumes potential, and he took a lot of it, and his lifespan was not long. Anyway, it is best to use the magic of reshaping the body if you are not dead. After death for a short period of time, the soul will not leave the body. In this case, Nirvana is used to rebirth to reshape the soul and body. Red eyes, it doesn't matter, as long as you can be resurrected. Then I will be even more ruthless. Kong Zan, hey, hey, 
Hey, I want you to try not to let her die. What the hell is it that you can do even worse? Red eyes. She and I are from different forces. The sword has no eyes. I can't guarantee that if I neglect it, I might be the one who dies. Red eyes. If that happens, I hope Brother Kongzen can be resurrected. Me. Let me see the future of this world. Even if I forget everything, it will be okay. Kongzan. He was a little speechless. But he also saw that even if Black Tong died, Red Tong would probably ask him to help resurrect him. Kongzan. The group chat system is here and I won't let you die. Don't worry. Red eyes. Well, I hope so too. But in this world, who can say it accurately? Just a little distraction on the battlefield. It's very likely that it's gone. It's just a matter of a moment. Butterfly Ninja, I just watched your conversation, and I also bought a genetic enhancement potion. It's really amazing. It completely makes up for my weak strength. In this case, I can not only use poison, but also use ordinary blades to kill ghosts. Kong Zan, ha ha, then you are really a cute little eavesdropper. Butterfly Ninja, what a strange description is this. Bushima Seko, I can buy it tomorrow. I already have more than 190 points. Bushima Seko, wait for the zombies. Kong Zan, let me recommend some teammates to you. Do you need them? Butima Seko, say it, brother Kong Zan. Buzujima Seko immediately took out a small notebook, with a serious look on his face, and prepared to take notes. Kong Zan, Miyamotore, I am good with spears and can be your deputy. Marikawa Shizuka is the school doctor, and she knows a nice house with guns inside which is a good base. Dakagi Saya's father is the leader of the right wing. If Shizuka can't stay in the house there, she can go to Dakagi Saya's house. Her house is like a fortress, which is difficult to break without an accident. Kong Zan, it will be much easier if these people form a team with you, and they are all girls, which is much more convenient. Oh, by the way, pay attention to the guy named Komuro Takashi, that guy's kindness will affect your development. Kong Zan, in addition, Killing Koichi Wisteria can gain Remiyamoto's favor. That guy is a beast and has done a lot of bad things. Remiyamoto is in grade because of him. In the end of the world, it's okay to kill him more harshly. Kong Zan, during this period, I have established a good relationship with Saya and Miyamoto Re. You should also know you, the natural school doctor. After all, the Kendo Club is also a club that is prone to injuries. Kong Zan, then, I said that if the above three people form a team with you, the probability of survival is very high and the additional people may become a burden. Kanki Ken, what a guy. Boss Kong Zan will give you a guide directly. Kanki Kento was dumbfounded. At this moment, he also wanted Kong Zan to give him a strategy. Butterfly Ninja, brother Kong Zan is partial. Kong Zan, ah, I seem to have said a bit too much. Kong Zan, sorry, sorry, I'm on top. Kong Zan, I just see more of the future of their world recently. Don't bother me. Kong Zan made an excuse. Damn, careless. Butama Seko, I have memorized everything brother Kongzan said. I will seriously establish a good relationship with them first. Buzujima Seko looked at her notebook seriously, and then replied. She firmly believed in Kongzan's words. Ding. Group member Hinata Hinata was bullied by three little boys and asked group members for help dash. Task difficulty. Super low level. Task reward. 300 points. Number of people limited. One person. Which member accepts the task? Kanki Ken. Why are you really bullying a three-year-old child? Butterfly Ninja. How abominable. Otherwise. Let me go. Bujima Seko, I can do it too. Kong Zan, little Hinata, help you beat them up. Kong Zan, don't stop me, let me go. Kong Zan colon at chat group assistant asked me to go. Kanki Ken, the boss won't kill them all. Dash, Konoa village. Snow fell all over the sky. The snow is full of leafless street drunks. Three little boys cursed at a little girl. If you are the daughter of the Hinata family, then use a Byakagan. If not, don't stare here. Disgusting eyes. Actually, it's a Yukai. You Byakagan Yukai. Ha ha ha. Under the ridicule of the three little boys, Hinata knelt down and cried. Hinata is cute. Blue black hair, yellow scarf, reddish grey clothes, petite body. The most conspicuous thing is the white eyes of the Hyuga family, which are the least popular. Such a scene happened as soon as Kong Zan started the live broadcast. Butterfly Ninja. Ugh, I'm going to kill these little bastards. Kanki Ken, that's too much. Exclamation mark. Butama Seko, is it because white eyes are considered different? Pitiful. Dot. Chapter 31 Konoa Specialty. Yakira Kuraman see little Hinata being bullied. Just when Naruto on the swing was about to take action, Kong Zan took the lead. Hey, little brats, your mother never taught you to be gentle to girls? Kong Zan stood in front of Hinata angrily. You dot who are you? Seeing the tall Kong Zan, the few kids immediately panicked. Who am I? I'm here to beat you up. Ah, Kong Zan punched the little boy in the middle and knocked him away. Ugh, the little boy flew into the air and screamed, then flew further and further away, and he didn't know where he went. The two children were startled, just when they were about to run. Watch me sweep Tang's legs. Kong Zan kicked both of them away. I don't know where Kong Zan flew, but he should still be in Konoa village. Wow wow wow, big brother is so awesome. Naruto shouted in surprise from the side. 
but Kong Zan ignored him because he was more concerned about Hinata at the moment. Little Hinata, are you okay? Kong Zan squatted down and rubbed Hinata's head. Oh. You. Are you brother Kong Zan? Hinata wiped her tears and looked up at Kong Zan. Yes, yes. Ahem. I'll turn off the live broadcast first, Kong Zan said and turned off the live broadcast. At the same time, ding. The mission has been completed. Group member Kong Zan received 300 points. Whether to return to the world, Kong Zan, number. Kong Zan picked up Hinata. She was so cute and her face was a little red. Come on, let's go eat. Naruto, Kong Zan turned to look at Naruto. Alas, you actually know me. Naruto was a little disappointed because Kong Zan ignored him, thinking that Kong Zan also thought he was a fox demon so he ignored him. But when he heard that Kong Zan in front of him suddenly asked him to eat together, he suddenly became happy. Of course I know the man who wants to become Hokage, right? Kong Zan said with a smile. Wow wow wow, you understand me very well. Naruto walked around Kong Zan, as if it was the first time he had seen someone understand him so well, and would not look down on him. Let's go, future Hokage, to Iakira Kuraman. After Kong Zan said that, he wanted to go to Iakira Kuraman, but suddenly he didn't know where to go. Iakira Kuraman, Good. Naruto danced and looked very happy, and calling him future Hokage made him suddenly happier. Naruto, please lead the way. I don't know where it is. Kong Zan said silently. Okay, come with me. Naruto took the initiative and took the lead. Kong Zan walked and chatted in the group. Song Zan, Hinatu is the princess of the Hyuga family, and the Byakugan is also caused by the blood of the Hyuga family. However, the Byakugan is very powerful. It can easily see the opponent's meridians and find its weaknesses more easily. Kanki Ken, although I don't know why. It does feel very powerful. Bujimaseko, that would be much more convenient. See the meridians and look for weaknesses. Butterfly Ninja, little Hinata will definitely be very powerful in the future. Kong Zan, with her own talent and this chat group, she will definitely become a very powerful person in the future. Kong Zan said that although she was not that powerful in the original work, she is different now. There is a group chat system now, and the golden finger is a qualitative change. Hinata Hinata, thank you, brother Kong Zan. Kong Zan, it doesn't matter. If anything happens, they can come and help you beat these little brats. Butterfly Ninja, that's right. Punch a little kid. Butterfly Ninja had just thought about it. If Kong Zan hadn't fought with her, she would have gone up and beat up those three little devils. Bushima Seko, I can do that too. Dot. Kong Zan looked at the little Hinata he was holding. Hinata, did you sneak out secretly? He said quietly. Hain Dot, how did you? Hinata hadn't finished her sentence yet. Kong Zan gently tapped her mouth. Secret. Kong Zan approached her ear and spoke. An imperceptible smile appeared at the corner of his mouth. Hinata is so small, can be lifted with one hand. Kong Zan rubbed her head with his other hand. The more I look at it, the cuter it becomes. What's wrong with rolling your eyes? That's also a feature. Hinata looked a little shy. Ahem. But she is only three years old and it does seem a bit weird to keep staring at people. We're here, brother. This is Iakira Kuraman. But then, Naruto's eyes became a little downcast. Then you go eat. I'll leave first, Naruto said. Huh? Why don't you go? I'll treat you, Kong Zan said casually. He also knew that Naruto didn't have much money when he was a child. Well, he didn't want to get too familiar with Naruto. But I don't want to be too young either. After all, he is the seventh generation Hokage. Although I don't know if the world will change in the future. But Hinata is so cute, she will definitely not give it up to him. Really? Big brother, you are so good. Naruto's eyes lit up with surprise on his face. Kong Zan was sneering in his heart. I don't know what will happen if I kill Naruto now. It felt a little too mean. Let's go. The two sat down. Why two people? Because Kong Zan held Hinata on his lap. Hinata didn't move. What do you want to eat? Uncle Yael asked. Here it is. Three bowls, please. Kong Zan pointed at a noodle dish on the menu and spoke. Okay, pork bone miso barbecued pork. Uncle Yael said and started working. Calamus. Bring me the ramen. Okay daddy. Calamus is not that big at the moment, only eight years old. We can only start with a slap in the face. By the way, big brother, what's your name? Naruto looked at Kong Zan curiously. After all, I never knew what the other person's name was so I felt so embarrassed for the other person to ask me. Kong Zan, just call me brother Kong Zan. Kong Zan said nonchalantly. Okay, brother Kong Zan. Then Naruto began to talk to himself. Kong Zan replied wordlessly. The ramen will be ready in a while. Three bowls of pork bone, miso and barbecued pork. Three bowls of two hundred and tentals. Uncle Yal always had a smile on his face. Kong Zan casually took out the money, put it on the table. Then he held Hinata next to him. Okay, then, let me start, Kong Zan said with a sense of ceremony. In this way, the three of them simply ate Iakira Kuraman. Kong Zan was also very satisfied. After all, I have never tasted it. But there is a reason why Iakira Kuraman is famous. It's really delicious. But Hinata is also very powerful, and she is worthy of being a big eater in the future. It's outrageous that he actually showed off three bowls at such a young age. Three bowls for three years old, right? Is this how it's calculated? After being surprised, 
wait for Hinata to finish eating. Then he planned to go back. But Kongzan twisted Naruto away first. Send Hinata near Hinata's house. Xiao Hinata, I'm leaving then. If I get closer to your house, I might be discovered by your father and the others. Kongzan lowered his head, knelt down and touched her face. Brother Kongzan. Thank you. Hinata's face was red and very cute. After you have enough points, spend some to buy a strengthening potion. This way you will not be easily bullied. If you are bullied, you must also learn to fight back. Understood? Kongzan smiled gently. Yeah, I remember. Who doesn't love Hinata's cute look? Then I'm leaving. See you next time. Kongzan stood up. Next time. See you next time. Hinata was looking forward to the next meeting. Immediately afterwards, Kongzan disappeared from the spot. Chapter 32 Arresting People. Kongzan returned to the boat. Because I told them in advance, it was no big deal. The sun is a little brighter. Kongzan took off his coat and placed it on the chair next to him. On an empty boat, with his upper body naked, and his straight body, you can see that the muscles on his body are very developed and the curves are clear. There seemed to be no one on board, probably going out to play. At this time, the dimensional communication glass ball in Kongzan's pocket vibrated. He took it out. He immediately ran to his room. After all, it's not easy to communicate outside. When they see you, they might ask you this or that, which is really troublesome. You can't say that you are communicating with people in other worlds using a glass ball, right? I wonder if Yamato, Yeri, and Robin will consider themselves fools. Therefore, he chose to go in and talk. Boy's bedroom. Kongzan looked at the glass beads and concentrated his thoughts. Shay, miss me? Kongzan asked with a smile. Kong. Lord Kongzan, of course I will miss you, so I want to talk to you. Shu said in a shy and nervous tone. Kongzan also chuckled. Then he lay on the soft bed and continued chatting. How is your swordsmanship lately? Kongzan asked. Hey, I'm super powerful. As Lord Kongzan's subordinate, I can't let you down. Shu's serious tone came over. Yeah, you're very good. In that case, when you complete the task I gave you last time, I will give you a reward. Kongzan's tone was a little mysterious. Reward? You gave me life, how can I ask for a reward? Shu said she was refusing, but it was not difficult to tell that she still wanted it in her heart. You may feel a little confused. It doesn't matter, you deserve it. Kongzan shook his head and said, as if he didn't care. Lord Kongzan. You are so gentle. She was touched in her heart. Ah ha ha. Really? Kongzan touched his chin. Are you gentle? It seems like I feel nothing. After sleeping in the small black hole of Tanzishi Cave for two and a half years, although I can't sing, dance, rap or basketball, but dot it's true that my mood has been reduced a lot. Then why don't I treat you more seriously? How about it? Kongzan's tone was teasing. No, no, no. That's fine. I like it very much. She quickly denied. She felt uncomfortable when she thought about Kongzan, who would be expressionless and toneless towards her in the future. That's great. Kongzan chuckled. By the way, do you want to kill Zhang tonight? Kongzan suddenly asked, because Kai Trong seemed to have mentioned it before. Yes, Lord Kongzan is so powerful, as expected of a god. Shu's adoring voice came. Ah. Uh, forget it. In short, be careful. Kongzan instructed. Well, Lord Kongzan. Are you concerned about me? So gentle. I really like Master Kongzan like this. Shu felt a little restless inside. Maybe it's puberty. Go and get ready. I should be in trouble now. Kongzan's words were not meant to be perfunctory to her, because he heard rapid footsteps approaching. Okay, hear Shay's reply. Kongzan also disconnected. Get up immediately. Brother Kongzan, are you in the room? He shouted from outside the door with hurried steps. Mikasa, the door is unlocked. Come in. Kongzan said directly. I don't know why Mikasa is in such a hurry. Crunch. Mikasa entered the door. Brother Kongzin, something happened. Windmill Village, Port. A group of marines surrounded Yamato and the others. All had guns in their hands. Are you sure it's her? Garp looked at Lishi inexplicably. It must be her. When she came to the city, there was an incident of people being eaten. Yesterday, I went to the bar and heard with my own ears that the man who brought her here said that she was a cannibal. A thin man with pointed ears and monkey cheeks. The monkey-like villagers pointed at Li Shi and opened their mouths. But what he said is also true. I can prove it. Originally we didn't believe it, but we didn't expect something like this to happen the next day. Another strong villager also said clearly. So, let's go with me. Garp waved his hand and said helplessly. At this time, two marines came up and wanted to take Li Shi away. But right now, four hands sprouted directly from the ground and grabbed the ankles of the two marines. Both staggered at the same time. Both fell to the ground. A sword instantly appeared in both Yamato and Hiari's hands. One red and one blue two colors. Yamato's hands were blue ice colored, with an extremely cold temperature. And Hiari's hands were red, with an extremely hot temperature. The two are just the opposite. Hiari has learned a little bit of swordsmanship recently. The most basic skills of chopping, thrusting, stabbing, teasing, collapsing, cutting, wiping, piercing picking, lifting, twisting, sweeping, etc. are still no problem. As for who I learned it from, it was naturally Xiaoling, the boat spirit instructor. Everyone on the ship will ask Xiaoling if they have questions or want to learn. Even Yamato has begun to learn three-color haki. Ahem, 
that's wrong. Now, two swords were placed on the necks of the two fallen marines. Don't come over, we'll wait until our captain comes. Yamato looked at Garp seriously. You are, a man wearing a grey hat, with the upper half of his face covered by the hat, and a sword hanging on his waist, was always looking at Robin wearing a black cat mask. Seeing the fruit's ability, the man seemed to have thought of something. Then he suddenly appeared in front of Robin and took off his mask. A sudden man. Robin quickly took a step back sweat dropping from nervousness. But her face was revealed. It is indeed Dot Nicole Robin, who has a bounty of 79 million. In addition, you don't look like a sea adventurer, right? Well Dot it seems confirmed, you Dot are sea adventurers, right? Thief. The man looked at Robin. Then he looked at Yamato. The villagers who heard this sentence were shocked. What? They are actually pirates. They obviously didn't fly the pirate flag. Didn't you expect that there are actually pirates with a bounty of 79 million? Really? This kid looks like 10 years old right? It's actually a pirate. There's a reward of 79 million. Dot. The scattered voices of the villagers came. TSK. Don't attack Robin. Yamato turned his head and looked at the man in front of Robin, and immediately pointed his other hand at the man. The terrifying cold air hit instantly. The man quickly dodged. If he had been a second later, he would have been pierced by the ice spikes extending from Yamato's palm. Ha dot it's so dangerous. The man gasped. Ice? That kid Kizun was still alive and well when I came here. Garp frowned. It shouldn't be a frozen fruit. Could it be some kind of special fruit? But the man was seen hiding away. The ice cube instantly shattered into slag. Yamato shook his hand. I said we'll wait until our captain arrives. I don't want to take action now. Yamato said coldly to him. In this way, the two sides were in a stalemate. Chapter 33 Abducting Maginot What do you want to do to my crew? Kongzan walked over at this moment, but because he had taken off his coat before, he was now naked from the waist up. Your navy is just a lackey of the Tanlong people. How dare you attack my crew? That's too arrogant, Kong Zan said without leaving any trace of emotion. His eyes looked coldly at the group of marines. His words shocked those around him. Someone actually dared to humiliate the world's nobles in front of the navy. The celestial dragons are so noble that they even have to wear bubble hoods and are unwilling to breathe the same air as civilians. Humiliate such noble people. Simply rare. Are you the captain? But... A lackey of the celestial dragons? Ha 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 ha. You have courage. I admire you for being able to say such things. Garp was not angry, but proud. Laughed, because what Kong Zan said was not wrong. In Garp's eyes, the celestial dragons are also trash. And they navy, to a certain extent. He is indeed a lackey of the celestial dragons. But for Garp, he has his own justice and lives for his own justice. Although he was forced to obey the orders of the celestial dragons, it didn't matter as long as it wasn't something outrageous. Garp would not do anything too outrageous. So, Navy hero, Lieutenant General Garp, what do you want to do? Kong Zan looked indifferent. I just want to find out if she killed the civilians in the city. After Garp said this, he looked at Li Shi. Oh dot have you been discovered? My pet is hungry, take her to look for food. Is there any problem? Kong Zan walked towards Garp, put his hand on his neck twisted it slightly, and said creak, creak sound, his eyes met Garp's, when Garp heard this, his eyes became sharp, but just before Garp clenched his fists, when about to launch an attack, don't hurt big brother and the others, they are all good people, they definitely didn't kill those people, Maginot stood in front of Kong Zan, shaking her head and saying to Garp, but you heard what that woman said, and he also said that she did it, Garp looked at Maginot with a serious face, Maginot glanced at Kong Zan and then at Li Shi, remembering the joy of eating together. She doesn't look like a cannibal girl at all. She still believes in her choice. No. There must be some reason. Otherwise she had already attacked the villagers of Windmill Village. Why would she run to the city? Maginot seemed to have found a ray of light and spoke immediately. Good. If you can eat them all, why not eat the people in Windmill Village? Even so, I must capture them first. We will investigate the matter clearly before we punish them, Garp said, looking at the other marines. The marines with guns moved forward. But after seeing Maginot, an idea suddenly appeared in Kong Zan's mind. His eyes lit up. Wouldn't the opportunity come when I want to abduct Maginot? These marines are really good people. Turn around first and then talk. It's too late. It's fast. With quick eyesight and quick hands. He actually hugged Maginot directly. And put one hand on her neck. In this way. Apparently threatening them with Makino's life. Don't come here. Otherwise. Kong Zan grinned. This is self-evident. But for Kong Zan. It was just a show. Who can't act. Unexpectedly. This group of marines would help him. At this moment. Maginot also understood, but he was actually mistaken. He thought Kong Zan wanted to use this method to escape. In fact, he wanted to abduct her. She pretended that Kong Zan pinched her so hard that she felt uncomfortable. Arsel, what are you going to do? Garp immediately waved his hand to the navy to stop and looked at Kong Zan with a cold expression. The surrounding villagers also started talking. What an idiot. He actually held Maginot hostage. I didn't expect Maginot to be so kind to him. And even took him to a bar, but he turned out to be such a white-eyed wolf. Bagai Alu. He actually took Ma Kino as a hostage. It's really unforgivable. Dot.
The village chief and the villagers discussed angrily, just let us go, Kong Zan said bluntly, dot. You can go, but put the hostages down after boarding the ship, after pondering, Garp frowned and said, let us get on the boat first, as he said that. Kong Zan looked at the people behind him, as expected, everyone understood the meaning, let's go, Yamato said, everyone quickly retreated to the side of the boat, and Kong Zan just took Majinat as a hostage, and retreated to the side of the ship, Xiao Ling, take us on board, Kong Zan said immediately as he looked at the navy slowly coming around, no problem, master, a burst of light flashed, the dazzling light made the navy and villagers squint their eyes, everyone in Kong Zan disappeared instantly, when the sailors opened their eyes, there was no one under the ship, where are they, the villagers were stunned, so many people suddenly disappeared, a rush of air centered on the ship and spread round, ship, the ship is flying, Lieutenant Admiral Garp, the navy were a little at a loss, full authority to wait for a Garp's orders, bring the cannonballs, Garp said to the navy on the navy ship, grinning at the same time, yes, Lieutenant General Garp, the navy immediately pushed the cannonballs off the ship, soon, Garp took off his jacket, cannonball in hand, fist bone middle dot meteorite, whoosh, the shells flew directly towards the ship in the air, dash, and on the boat, an arms threat has been detected, Activate the protective barrier. Xiao Ling's voice came. I saw the shell was about to hit the hull. The invisible barrier unfolded instantly. Boom. There was a loud noise, but it doesn't affect the inside. Xiao Ling. Let's fly further first. Kong Zan felt troubled and immediately spoke to Xiao Ling. Understood. Xiao Ling said as if he was very wise. Then he flew outward with all his strength. At this moment, Kong Zan looked at Majinat, who was looking down at the ship's railing. Makino. I want you to stay here during this period. Kong Zan walked to Majinat and spoke to her. But that was not what Majinat cared about. But, brother, did she really kill the people in the city? Why exactly? Majinat looked worried. She was afraid that she was wrong. But she also knew that Kong Zan wouldn't hurt her just now. He just wanted to go away. Then let me explain to you. She is a special race called ghouls. She cannot eat ordinary human food. You also saw that she didn't eat anything when we were in the bar last time. She has been refusing to eat. She will starve to death. And her food is only people so there is nothing we can do. Kong Zan waved his hand. The helpless expression seemed to be the only thing he could do. This is indeed the case. Otherwise Li Shi would starve to death one day. After Kong Zan finished speaking, another roar came from under the boat. It looks like Gup is still dropping bombs, but it does not affect the hull itself. Is that so? Majinat was very simple. She also believed in Kong Zan's character. This is definitely the best result after weighing the pros and cons. It's just that killing indiscriminately is wrong. But don't eat people indiscriminately, Majinat said a little unconfidently, because in her view, cannibalism is bad. But she also understood that this was different for ghouls. For them, humans are food. Makino, stopping ghouls from eating people is equivalent to stopping humans from eating. Kong Zan patted her shoulder. This, my sister, who obviously looks like a human, is actually a ghoul. She was a little distressed because she could only eat people. If people are not fed, they will definitely starve to death. This is common sense, but this is really not good. Ugh, Majinat grabbed her hair feeling a little irritated, but looked at Kong Zan firmly, then dot then don't eat good people, that's enough, Majinat said, well, there's nothing we can do if she's too hungry, normally, she wouldn't be allowed to eat good people, Kong Zan answered, although the time together was short, besides, you can't go back, Makino, Kong Zan said, changing the topic, question mark, what do you mean, Majinat was stunned, after all, with Garp behind us, we definitely can't go back. We have to go somewhere else. How about you accompany us to play outside and bring you back when we come back to Windmill Village in the future? Kong Zan began to draw the pie, very much like the leaders of certain companies. Well, that's okay. I haven't been to the sea yet. Majinat looked at the sea under the boat. She didn't care so much. After all, she also knew that Garp would definitely catch her if they went back together. There was also an offshore king nearby, but it was not safe for her to go back by herself. Haha, <laughs> this ship of yours is so powerful it can even fly, I've never seen it before, Majinat opened her arms, felt the breeze, closed her eyes, and took a deep breath, chapter 34 Saiyan, of course, by the way, Xiao Ling, Kong Zan suddenly shouted to the surroundings, I'm here, master, Xiao Ling suddenly appeared in front of him, huh, is this the ball of light that brought us up just now, Majinat looked at the ball of light curiously, this is Xiao Ling, she's the ship spirit of this ship, if you have anything you don't understand, you can ask her, she knows a lot, Kong Zan explained, wow, so awesome, ship spirit, Majinat looked surprised, although she didn't know what a ship spirit was, she thought it was very powerful, a light ball could talk and help her understand this place, and so on, Xiao Ling, let's go to the shampoo islands next, that's Xiaqi the place where the boat can be parked near the tavern, Kong Zan ordered Xiao Ling, because there is a high probability that the three Hancock sisters will be sold to shampoo island by human traffickers, during this time, Kong Zan planned to let Yamato and the others practice well, positioning the Grand Route, 
Area 13 of the Shampoo Islands, positioning successful. Whether to enable navigation, Xiaoling said. Yes, Kong Zan did not hesitate. Then, the ship began to fly towards its destination, just in time to find Rayleigh who has just entered retirement age. It's good to think about it, his leisurely life is about to begin again, although it has always been quite leisurely. At this moment Mikasa came over. Brother Kong Zan. Do you want to have lunch? Alia is almost done cooking today. Although it is indeed a bit late because of the delay just now. Mikasa looked at Kong Zan. The look was like asking him if he could eat. Okay, Kong Zan chuckled, touched Mikasa's little head. It made Mikasa feel warm inside. Come on, let's go eat, he said. He took the lead and walked towards the cabin. Eat, eat. Majinet also looked happy, not knowing how the food here was. Dash, windmill village. Offshore, on a navy warship. Lieutenant General Garp. They are flying too fast. They are no longer visible. The helmsman reported the situation. This ship is really novel. It can actually run away in my hands and most of the abilities on the other side are unknown. When something like this happens, it seems that my vacation will end early. Garp looked at it in the endless sea in the distance, there is no shadow of the other party. Go back to Navy headquarters, Garp said to the helmsman. Okay, Lieutenant General Garp. The helmsman replied immediately. Then Garp planned to go back to the cabin and tell Sengoku these things using the phone bug. Also make sure Kizun is still alive. After all, the girl just now used an ability like frozen fruit which should be Kizan's ability. Dash, as for Kong Zan, imagine it also successfully boarded the ship and became the juice blender on the ship. Because they are still young, Kong Zan does not let them drink. Let Maginet make some delicious drinks, juices and the like. After lunch, Kong Zan went to the library to have a look. Maybe because of the system, communication is not a problem at all after coming to this world. The text is also easily readable. He just picked up a book and read it. And just then, the system in my mind beeped. Ding. Completed the mission to find crew members four tenths. Received reward. No side effects pure Saiyan blood. This wave made Kong Zan stupid. Are all the Saiyans here? Then wouldn't it be possible for him to become a star explosion? Kong Zan suddenly felt an itchy feeling on his butt. I threw it, and it still grew. A tail? Kong Zan understood instantly. He immediately took it out, and sure enough it was a brown tail. Isn't the system free of side effects? Kong Zan cursed. It's weird to have a tail. The Super Saiyan 4 form must have a tail, if the host doesn't need it. Just remove the tail for you. A female voice came. It was the system. No, no, no. I definitely want it. Kong Zan has no choice but to do it himself. That is Super Saiyan 4. It is said that it can directly increase the normal combat power by 4000 times. Who is afraid of this? Unless it is the God of Destruction or something like that. But how can there be a God of Destruction in the pirate world? Dot so. It seems that I am going to practice chi. But dot not at all. Kong Zan first tied his tail as a belt inside his clothes. Then he opened the points store. After all. Even if he didn't know how to do it, he could still buy skills directly. Dot. Skills are all mastered. Do you still not understand how to use Qi? Kong Zan searched in the points store. He found it quickly. Without further ado, he bought Wu Kong Shu, Qi Yuan Slash, and Yuan Qi Bomb. A bit expensive. These three actually cost 2,000 points. Kong Zan sighed. Anyway, he couldn't bear to let the child trap the wolf, so he had to buy it. Kong Zan directly pressed the purchase button. Suddenly, all the basic usage methods and skills of Qi came into his mind. Sure enough, as long as you buy the skills, you will definitely be given the most basic understanding. Just like when you buy a complex machine in a mall and need to assemble it, he will definitely give instructions. This is the minimum. Kong Zan can now clearly feel it through the wall. The Qi of the people around you, and the Qi in your own body. It feels like a lot. In fact, the so-called Qi is the most fundamental energy in the body which can also be said to be life energy. Generally speaking, it is necessary to practice or train to control this energy independently. Dot while he was thinking, Robin came over. Brother Kong Zin, are you reading too? Seeing Kong Zan holding a book, Robin asked curiously. Ah ha ha, I guess. Robin, what book are you reading? Kong Zan also asked. Me? Generally speaking, it's more about literature. Or I also like stories. Robin thought for a while and said, Oh, I also like to read stories. For example, this book Kaigyu Agwei I, I just love it. Kong Zan said with a smile. He also shook a certain fan novel in his hand. It seems that brother Kong Zan and I also have the same hobbies. Robin said with a smile, holding a book in one hand and a cup of coffee in the other. It seems that drinking coffee has been a habit since childhood. Kong Zan complained silently in his heart. Come on. Watch it with me. Kong Zan held Robin on his lap and hugged her into his arms. He put away his books. Then he took the book in Robin's hand, a book called Archaeotzai. Translated it should be ancient architecture science. Sure enough, it looked like a book that Robin would read. Robin felt the warm body on his back. He also remembered the way Yamato protected him at that time. The corners of his mouth also raised unconsciously. Sure enough, 
he has a partner. That's great, brother Kong Zin. Do you want some coffee? Robin said and handed the coffee cup in his hand to Kong Zan. I'll have a taste. Kong Zan took the coffee cup and took a sip. It's so bitter, Robin. How can you keep drinking it? Kong Zan's face dropped and he felt numb. He he. Well, brother Kong Zan doesn't like to drink bitter things. I think this way is more refreshing. Robin said. Next time you bring me coffee. Please add two packets of sugar and one packet of milk. Got it. Kong Zan said seriously and handed the coffee cup back. Yeah, I got it. Robin nodded lightly. He took the coffee cup and took a sip. Brother Kong Zin, let's get started. Robin looked at the book expectantly. In fact, what she was looking forward to at the moment was not reading a book, but someone reading with her. After all, she had read this book several times in the past. She saw it in the library here yesterday, so she came to review it for a moment. Okay, Chapter 35 Breath of Flowers Ahem, if you enter the library at this time, you will find that Kong Zan has fallen asleep. Robin sat on his lap, leaning against his side and reading a book. Well, I always think this will be very warm. As for how Kong Zan fell asleep, naturally, this highly professional Archeolds I book directly made him feel the Chinese class plus science class in the nine-year compulsory education. Good guy. It's all incomprehensible. This is harder to chew than classical Chinese, because it contains all kinds of ancient characters from around the world. There's also some physical architecture stuff. So hypnotic. That's why Robin asked for coffee. And this is not like the kind of white text that I have read in the past, but all kinds of literate words. He, a modern person, is not a professional in this field. All right. Anyway, after all, to put it simply, I just watched him fall asleep, although this was expected by Robin. And right now, rumble. Huge thunder came from outside. Kong Zan opened his eyes drowsily. Huh? Is it raining? Kong Zan looked at the outside. The hazy sky was grey and black, showing heavy depression. Brother Kong Zin, it's going to rain soon. Robin looked out the window. As expected, it is indeed going to rain. Oh, aha. Uh -huh. I'm going out for a while. Kong Zan yawned and rubbed Robin's head. Yeah, okay. Robin was curious, but didn't ask any more questions. Kong Zan opened the door with a creak. Get out the door. The eyes of the crew members outside were also attracted by Kong Zan. What is Big Brother doing? Maginot was a little curious and turned to ask Yamato who was standing aside. I don't know. It's so scary ahead. Should we change the direction? Yamato's scalp felt numb as he watched the dark clouds getting closer and closer. And at this moment, Kong Zan looked at the gloomy sky not far away. There was a constant rumbling of thunder. The boat is even more noisy when it flies in. Reach slightly. Suddenly, I don't know what happened. The dark clouds suddenly dispersed. The bright sunshine came out again. This is the seventh level of magic, weather manipulation. Wow wow wow. Did Big Brother do something? Maginot's eyes widened. The dark clouds actually dispersed. And as soon as Kong Zan walked out and turned his hand over, the dark clouds dispersed. I don't believe it if I say this is a coincidence. As expected of Brother Kong Zan. Yamato looked at Kong Zan with shining eyes. She admired Kong Zan more and more, because she has never seen Kong Zan's true power. In Yamato's mind, the impression of Kong Zan gradually became omnipotent, and he was simply a perfect man. As for Kong Zan, he yawned drowsily and rubbed his eyes, went into the library again. He sat next to Robin. Brother Kong Zan, what have you done? There seems to be no thunder outside. The clouds in front have dispersed. Robin looked out the window and looked at Kong Zan curiously. Nothing. Simple control of the weather. Kong Zan didn't care. Control dot the weather. Robin was a little confused. Is this possible for humans to do? And with bare hands? Is he really not a god? Robin was a little skeptical. How could humans possibly do such a thing? This is really like turning your hand to make clouds turning your hand to make rain. Only gods can do this kind of thing. Robin was full of curiosity about Kong Zan. But Kong Zan just smiled at him slightly. I'll keep squinting for a while. Kong Zan touched Robin's little head next to him. Okay, Robin didn't ask any more questions and simply nodded. Kong Zan also narrowed his eyes. In fact, he planned to check out the group chat again. Speaking of which, Butterfly Ninja and Kai Trong both obtained 5000 points. I don't know what I bought. So Kong Zan asked in the group. Kong Zan, at Butterfly Ninja at Red Eyes what did you buy with 5000 points? Kong Zan asked, not bothering to beat around the bush. Butterfly Ninja, I bought flower breathing. Generally speaking, it requires compatibility and long-term training to learn a breathing method. I didn't expect that it would be directly compatible with the original insect breathing after purchasing it. Butterfly Ninja, I also bought a niche iron sword that is suitable for flower breathing. Because I have taken gene potions before, I have no problem using flower breathing now. Butterfly Ninja and these only cost 1,500 points. There are still 3,500 points left, and I would also like to ask Brother Kong Zan what to change next. Kong Zan, oh, not bad. If you want to be able to compete with Shanxian, you'd better change the no side effects pattern in the transparent world. By the way, replace it with high level armed color haki and high level knowledge color haki. Kong Zan, then I will give you some more of my blood. You will improve after drinking it. After all, his blood is also a ghost, but because it has no side effects, after drinking it, he becomes a side effect free ghost, 
which is not much different from a normal person, except that all aspects of his attributes are improved. Butterfly Ninja, wow, really, thank you, Brother Kongzin. Butterfly Ninja, let me see how many points Brother Kongzan said. Kanki Ken, Envy. Butterfly Ninja was browsing the points mall. Kongzan took out a small glass bottle and squeezed out a small bottle of blood. Brother Kongzan, what are you doing? Robin looked over curiously. Kongzan capped the bottle and sent a red envelope to Butterfly Ninja. Kongzan, Butterfly Ninja's exclusive red envelope. Butterfly Ninja has received the red envelope. Butterfly Ninja, thank you, Brother Kongzan. I finished the purchase and actually asked for 3,000 points so I just left 500 points just in case. She had already felt the changes in her body at this moment and adjusted the contents a little. Then the butterfly ninja looked at the small bottle in his hand. He didn't expect that he would drink human blood, but it was necessary in order to become stronger. Just a little blood. It should be fine. Butterfly nin thought, looking at the blood in the small glass bottle. Gulu, after opening it, he closed his eyes and drank it all in one gulp. Immediately, a wave of energy seemed to spread all over the body. So strong, Butterfly Ninja felt as if all the cells in his body were activated. Moxie Moxie, can you hear me? Xiao Nin, a male voice appeared from Butterfly Ninja's mind. Brother Kong. Kong Zan. Butterfly Ninja was a little surprised. This is obviously Kong Zan's voice. It looks like there's no problem. Let's chat in the group. Kong Zan's voice came again. The Butterfly Ninja immediately looked at the group chat. Kong Zan. If you drink my blood, you will have a certain connection with me. Kong Zan explained. Just like Muzin, Kong Zan can also see the world through the Butterfly Ninja's vision. You can also contact Butterfly Ninja directly. Butterfly Ninja, that's it. Butterfly Ninja nodded understandingly. Kong Zan, at where are you? Red eyes, I haven't used it yet. I feel like I won't be able to use it for the time being. Shitong is still busy hunting and cooking, so she didn't have time to read the group chat. So she at her for the second time before replying. Kong Zan, that's okay. After all. There shouldn't be any big problems with Chitong for the time being. There is no guy as outrageous as Womb. It seems that the Supreme Emperor's weapon is stronger. Although the Supreme Tegu has high damage, its speed is too slow, like a huge mechanical turret. And only the Little Emperor can use it. The Little Emperor must be like that. After all, he is still young and has grown up pampered. His physical strength and endurance are not good. He will probably be exhausted after firing two cannons. Chapter 36 Group Leader Group Chat Ding Publish a group announcement. After long term evaluation of the system, the chat group selected Kong Zan as the group leader. Private chat. Chat group assistant. Group owner's exclusive red envelope. Kong Zan raised his eyebrows. In the blink of an eye, a message like this appeared in the group. After all, the group chat system is a subsystem of its own system. It's normal to think that you are indeed the group leader. I really didn't expect this private message to send me a red envelope. Kong Zan clicked on the red envelope. Oh no. You are so arrogant. I will give you 5,000 points as soon as you come. Kong Zan said secretly in his heart. The group leader will get a big gift package directly at the beginning. Then Kong Zan continued to look at the group chat. Kan Ki Kan Kolon Wow. Brother Kong Zan has become the group leader. Butterfly Ninja. It should be so. After all. He helped us a lot. Butterfly Ninja answered this. Still remembering that the 5,000 points were equivalent to being given to her by Kong Zan Boy and she did nothing. She felt that it would be perfect for a person as generous as Kong Zan to become the leader of the group. Bushima Seko, he is indeed the elder brother Kong Zan. Mikasa, the perfect Kong Zan brother. Red Eyes, congratulations to brother Kong Zan. Hinata Hinata, congratulations to brother Kong Zan. Dot. Kong Zan, that's thanks to all of you. Kong Zan, lucky red envelope, contains 1000 points. Kanki Ken has received the red envelope. Butterfly Ninja has received the red envelope. Chitong has received the red envelope. Mikasa has received the red envelope. Buzujima Seko has received the red envelope. Hinata Hinata has received the red envelope. Tushan Hong Hong has received the red envelope. Kong Zan, at Tushan Hong Hong Daily Dives. Tushan Hong Hong, thank you brother Kong Zan for the red envelope. Tushan Hong Hong hesitated for a moment and then sent it. Watch this time. I always feel that the humans in the group are not as bad as they say, and the human being who becomes the group leader is very strong. It seems to be ridiculously strong. Just like gods. Kong Zan, it's okay. Hong Hong doesn't need to be seen outside. Tushan Hong Hong, well, Tushan Hong Hong is a little at a loss. Kong Zan, on the other hand, seems to have the privilege of being the group leader. You don't know if you don't look at it, but you will be stunned when you look at it. No points are needed to travel through the world of group members. Get a 10% discount in the points mall. Administrators can be set up. Private chat is available. You can kick people. You can attract people. You can purchase more system strengthening abilities, which not only have no side effects, 
but also have stronger abilities than before. Sign in and get 500 points for one day. You must know that ordinary group members only have about 10 points, and you can turn on automatic sign in. Dot absolute. Absolutely amazing. Kong Zan looked confused at the privileges. After receiving a red envelope of 5,000 points, I still have 4,000 left. Adding on the more than 3,000 points left before, I still have more than 7,000 points. The point small has a discount. So the gene enhancement potion that originally cost 200 points now only costs 20 points. You must know that this strengthening potion fundamentally changes the physique from genes, and even future generations will be affected by high quality genes. You can buy some for your crew members. Then just buy 20. Kong Zan murmured to himself and bought it. What more should I buy? Kong Zan flipped through it again and suddenly saw something. He was curious at first, then clicked on it, frowned, and finally his eyes widened suddenly. The expressions are very rich. This is a trace of low-level law-breaking power. I'm sorry, it actually costs 30,000 points. Even with a discount, it costs 3,000 points. Is it the legendary law? Maybe this is the first step to becoming a god. Well, Kong Zan looked at it dully, although it was very expensive, but it is undoubtedly needed. Say it in the introduction. The power of law is a necessary condition for becoming a god. With the power of law, the final form of this god is not a mere plane level god, but a dimensional level god. Note, gods are divided into world level. The pinnacle of mortals, false gods, universe level, low level gods, plane level, intermediate gods, dimensional level, high level gods, and multi dimensional levels, top level gods, which can also be called king of the gods. And as long as a god has a trace of the power of law, it is at least cosmic level. The information behind king of gods can only be known after the host becomes stronger. All the owner needs to do is use this low level law of destruction to destroy and continue to destroy. The greater and more powerful the damage, the more refined the power of the law fed back to the host and only in this way can the law of destruction be upgraded. This is also a necessary condition for the upgrade of the law of destruction, which is to complete the destiny of destruction, destruction. When this low-level law of destruction energy fills the body, it needs to devour the original power of the low-level world, so that it can become a true low-level law of destruction. After possessing the low-level law of destruction, it needs to continue to destroy, after reaching the zero point. It can then swallow the power of the origin of the intermediate world to become an intermediate law of destruction, and so on. I'm sorry, everyone was dumbfounded by this introduction to Kong Zan. Just a hint of low-level law power. You can make yourself a cosmic powerhouse. And he is a cosmic god. Outrageous. The point small is too conscientious. Then Kong Zan suddenly noticed something seemed to be written next to the introduction. Administrator and above can purchase, but administrators do not offer discounts. It seems that there is a quota limit, which is decided by the group owner. After all. Only the group owner can set and manage it. This should also be introduced for administrators to better manage group members. After all, there is no world where fists speak. Kong Zan didn't say much. Purchased directly, just for a moment. The terrifying power of law filled his body. At this moment, he felt as if he had sublimated. This is dot a trace of the power of law. Ha! Huh. It seems that the so-called law really cannot be explained in terms of volume. This low-level power of destroying the law is so essence. Dot it almost makes people feel like as majestic as the stars and the universe. Amazing. I really don't know the complete low-level law of destruction, how terrifying it would be. Kong Zanyu O thought thoughtfully. But through the hands of the system, this law of destruction has been perfectly integrated with him. And it can make him have no side effects. Generally speaking. Fusion shouldn't be painful or something like that. In this case, what really scares people is the power of this system. The power of the gods can be easily transferred to yourself. I am becoming more and more curious about the origin of this system. Have you become a god? Kong Zan murmured softly. Opening his eyes, he looked at his hands with deep pupils. The library is still around. Robin was still reading quietly beside him. I had my eyes closed before. Maybe I thought I was sleeping. No one would have thought that he would sleep and become a god in this sleep. It seems that in the world of pirates, my combat power will immediately collapse. After all, One Piece is an intermediate world. Robin. Kong Zan called him. Um. Dot brother Kong Zan. Are you awake? You can sleep a little longer. Dinner hasn't been served yet. Hearing Kong Zan's voice, Robin's eyes immediately moved from the book to Kong Zan, and then smiled and said. Ah. Looked at Robin beside him. He hesitated to speak. Robin. I have a task for you. Kong Zan said. When Robin saw that he had a mission, he became serious. Immediately afterwards, seven tubes of gene-enhancing potions appeared in Kong Zan's hand. Yamato, Neri, Mikasa, Arya, Rise, Makino, and you. There are seven people in total. Here are seven tubes of genetic enhancement potion, which can greatly improve your physique. Even if you drink it, you will be ordinary. People also have super resilience, Kong Zan said. Logically speaking, the most useless one here should be Arya, but Kong Zan said that he still has to think of the good. After all, Aria still has a way of torturing people. In the future, the interrogation can be left to her. Thinking about it this way, it will be of some use. And this guy seems to have been corrected a little by himself recently. 
but so many people were tortured to death in the original work, it's really her problem. The bigger reason is that their whole family has problems. Anyway, she has done a lot of wrong things, and even if she dies, she will be reincarnated. Instead of giving her an advantage, she might as well have been tortured by herself. Whatever he asked her to do now, she had to do it. Free labor. How nice. Chapter 37 Zombie Outbreak Robin took the gene potion from Kong Zan's hand. Then he nodded and said, I understand. Thank you, Brother Kong Zan. Although Robin didn't know where these things came from, he didn't seem to want to ask more. Kong Zan looked at Robin's plain expression. I'm somewhat interested. Don't you ask me where I got it from? Kong Zan said with a smile. Well, I think Brother Kong Zan will probably tell us what he wants to tell us. But... Everyone will be happy if you can give us such a precious thing. Robin replied with a smile. Kong Zan was slightly surprised. I didn't expect Robin to be very mature at such a young age. The truth is just as Robin said. Even if she did ask herself. And I can only speak two words. Secret. That's all. Okay. Let's go. Kong Zan didn't say much. Motioning to Robin to give these to them. Okay. Robin nodded. Put your share in your pocket first. Then he walked out. Kong Zan suddenly found someone ate himself. Butamaseko. Sora, brother Sora, zombies really broke out at Kong Zin. Ding, there is a zombie crisis in the world of Buzu Jimaseko, a member of the group. Please ask the group members to help resolve the crisis. Task difficulty, intermediate. Task reward, 10,000 points. Number of people, two people. Which member accepts the task? Butterfly Ninja, at Bush Jimaseko, let me help you too. Kong Zan, I'll be right away. Are you sure you too? Kong Zan, Butterfly Ninja. Kong Zan, confirm. Butterfly Ninja. Confirm. At the same time, Kong Zan used private chat to send messages to Mikasa. After all, it suddenly disappeared. You always need someone to smooth things over for you. Dash, school doctor's office. Seko had just saved the school doctor Marikawa Shizuka. At this moment, she has bought a genetic enhancement potion, but she is no longer comparable to ordinary people. Zazi, are you okay? Kong Zan appeared behind Xi at some unknown moment. When Seko heard the voice, she turned around in surprise. Her long purple hair was flying, and her face which had been serious a second ago, now showed an imperceptible smile. Brother Kong, Brother Kong Zin, Sister Xiren. With them here, Seko felt a lot more at ease. Hey, where did you come from? The blonde girl with big breasts next to her looked at the two of them with a natural look. This person is Marikawa Shizuka, with long blonde hair reaching her hips, golden pupils, a proud body, wearing a white coat, a black hip skirt, and white gloves on her hands. Brother Kong Zin. Sister Seko, are these zombies outside? The butterfly ninja walked to the window and saw countless guys who looked like humans but not humans. At this moment, butterfly ninja had two swords hanging on his waist and was wearing the uniform of the demon slayer core. Butterfly ninja's hair is black, but the ends are a little purple. I don't know why, but it's the same gradient as Yamato's hair. There seems to be a hint of seriousness on his face, and his pupils also have a gradient of black and purple, which is very unique but also very beautiful. This is what Butterfly Ninja looked like when he was working as a child. I don't have that professional fake smile that I grew up with. Yes, these guys are zombies, and they can only be killed by headshots, Seko said seriously. Alas, don't ignore me, teacher. Shizuka puffed up her cheeks and looked unhappy. Okay, okay, teacher Jinxiang. Kong Zan smiled and patted her shoulder. By the way, Zizi, the teacher's office is not far ahead. Kong Zan turned his head slightly and asked. That's right. Seiko nodded. As for Kong Zan calling her Zai easy, she didn't resent it. After all, he is now his comrade in arms, and he has helped a lot in the past, so he already has a good impression of Kong Zan. Bang bang. At this moment, a sound like a gunshot was suddenly heard. But there's something different about it. Something to say. That's the sound of a nail gun. What's wrong? Shizuka suddenly became nervous when she heard a voice. Classroom office? Seko turned to look in the direction of the sound which was the direction of the classroom office. Let's go. Kong Zan walked forward first. The plot of this scene left a deep impression on Kong Zan. The direction the sound came from was in another teaching building. You could get there by walking through the open air corridor. Kong Zan will take care of all the zombies in front. As long as you get a little closer, the zombies will fly away. Vector super verticality can control the direction of energy. As long as it touches the zombies slightly, these zombies will fly backwards as if they have received some huge force. Zazie. Have you met them? Kong Zan asked Xi Easy behind him. Well, I once deliberately brought Miyamoto and Takagi Sai to the rooftop to get to know each other. Teacher Shizuka, I knew them before, but it was all too sudden, and I didn't get together with the two of them. Dot. Seko said bluntly. After all, if possible, it would be best to form a team with them. After getting to know each other for a while, Seko also felt that Kong Zan was right. Miyamoto's spear skills were very powerful, and Takagi Sai's analytical skills were also very strong. At that time, Sayata Kagi could tell at a glance that Buzujima Seko deliberately wanted to be friends with them, but she didn't know the reason, she was just a little confused. Ah, uh, a huge scream echoed through the teaching building. It's Sayata Kagi. Seko quickly recognized the owner of the voice. Wait for me. 
Shizuka was a little inconvenient because of her hip covering skirt. Seeing this, Seko tore her apart directly. Alas, this is a famous brand, Shizuka said with a negative look on her face. Let's go quickly. Seko didn't say much and directly pulled Shizuka. Shizuka, on the other hand, puffed out her mouth and sulked. Dash, the nail gun in the hand of the fat man Hirono today on the side has been used up. So he could only watch the next scene. In front of Gao Cheng Sire, there was a zombie walking towards her. And she looked extremely panicked at the moment. Don't come close to me. Don't come close to me. Gao Cheng Sire's legs became weak and she collapsed directly to the ground. Then keep moving backward. Bang. There was no road behind her, and she seemed to have hit something. It's a trophy cabinet. She immediately picked up the trophy and smashed it like a zombie. Don't come over. Don't come over. The trophy was smashed into pieces by her, but the zombies kept moving forward. It's no use at all. Saya kept looking left and right, looking for something to protect herself. It's a chainsaw. Seeing that the zombies were about to bite me, she felt resentful and picked up the chainsaw. There were tears of fear in his eyes. He attacked the zombies directly. Don't come here. A roar spread round. Their zombies' blood splashed all over Sire. I've had enough, Dad. The chainsaw was cutting at the zombie's body, and blood kept splattering out. It all made Shay call Daddy, and Kong Zan, who happened to be rushed over, heard it. Although her biological father is not here, but, hey, good girl, your father and I are here to save you. Kong Zan rushed over. He directly kicked the zombie away with his electric saw. Boom. The terrifying power directly shattered the wall and the bones of the zombies were shattered. You work hard, your cheap daughter. Kong Zan took advantage again and touched Shay's head. You dot who are you? He saw Kong Zan in front of him. Shay was stunned. <clears throat> Didn't you call me dad? I just recognized him. At this moment, Sire was covered in blood. It looks a bit pitiful. It's hard, isn't it? That's enough. You've done a good job, Kong Zan said softly, and then hugged her, holding her head against his chest. Hironota couldn't handle this scene. Komuro Takashi also brought Miyamoto over at this moment. Butterfly Ninja. Seko and Shizuka also arrived, although Takagi Saya didn't know who the person in front of her was. The warmth he brought to her was real. You 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 you, arsehole. Who are you? You are not my father. Why take it advantage? Shay started to cry. As he spoke, he punched Kong Zan in the chest. Although he was merciless, Kong Zan knew that she was scared to tears because of what just happened. Ever since the zombie outbreak began, her nerves had been tense at all times. At this moment, she couldn't hold it any longer, and Kong Zan just gave her a reason to vent. Chapter 38 The Powerful Butterfly Ninja Ha! Huh. That boy named Kong Zan runs so fast, Shizuka panted tiredly. As for Kong Zan's name, she knew it when she heard the exchange between them just now. But at this moment, because of Shay's cry, all the surrounding zombies walked towards Kong Zan. Hey, be careful, Komuro Takashi reminded him immediately. Then he was ready to take action. Miyamoto is also planning to do it. Sek also placed his hand on the handle of the knife at his waist. But at this moment, the butterfly ninja was faster than them. Ha! Huh. Flower breath middle dot five types, fruitless peony. She thought silently in her heart. Suddenly, she launched nine slashes from all directions, all attacking towards the zombie closest to Kong Zan. But these nine slashes had actually cut off the heads of all the surrounding zombies very neatly. Bang dang. The heads of several zombies fell down at the same time. The pink sword strikes are like peony petals. Ha. Huh. The butterfly ninja flicked his hand. Blood fell from the niche iron sword, and was then inserted into the scabbard. Very elegant. What just happened? Komuro Takashi was confused. It's amazing. What's going on? Hironotada was even more stunned. He couldn't clearly see the butterfly ninja's movements just now. Wow. This little girl named Shinobu is so amazing. Shizuka opened her eyes wide and praised without hesitation. Just like Superman. Remiyamoto also looked at the butterfly ninja with great energy. And Saya also calmed down. Wiped away tears. Okay. Let's go to the classroom office first. Seko saw Saya calm down. Be the first to propose. Is it Buzujima Senpai? Okay, let's go in first. Miyamoto said in agreement. The teacher's office is right next to it. Okay, let's go, daughter. Kong Zan let go of Shay and said with a smile. He also rubbed her head. Who? Who is your daughter? Saya immediately retorted, her eyes and cheeks a little red. But Kong Zan just smiled slightly. Then walked in. The butterfly ninja followed him with a serious face. Naturally. Other people walked in one after another. After Kong Zan entered, I casually found a seat and sat down. Ha! Huh. He stretched. He crossed his legs. As for Saya, she glanced at him and went to wash her face. Brother Kong Zan, what should we do next? Xi Easy asked. Butterfly Ninja was standing next to Kong Zan, and everyone's eyes also turned to Kong Zan curiously. Takashi, who is that guy? He looks so arrogant. Hironotada asked Komuro Takashi silently. After all, Kong Zan does look a bit arrogant, and Butterfly Ninja and Seko obviously listen to Kong Zan. I don't know, but this guy must be very strong. The kick I just gave to the zombie actually cracked the wall. This is not something ordinary people can do. Komuro Takashi looked a little serious. Of opening, the eyes looking at Kong Zan also became serious. Being with Buzujima Senpai, you don't look like a bad person, right? Miyamoto said. After all, 
Seko left a good impression on her, and the girl next to him. Is so amazing, you couldn't see clearly at that speed just now. Did you see it clearly, Takashi? Hirano looked at Komuro Takashi and asked. No, I couldn't see clearly, I just saw the afterimages of those pink slashes, and then she suddenly appeared next to the man. I didn't expect. So many zombie heads fell off at the same time. Dot. It's simply inhuman, Komuro Takashi said, that's all. The three of them whispered like this, take a rest, then look where you are going. If you want to find your family members, go find your family members, Kongzan said lazily. Then he picked up a book, opened it, and covered his face. It looked like he was going to take a nap. Seko and Shizuka also found seats and sat down. By the way, I have a car, Shizuka said suddenly. This sentence made everyone look at her. Car? Butterfly Ninja also understands a little bit, but she is rarely seen in normal times. After all, her world also has drain like things like the infinity train. Can it carry everyone? Seko suddenly asked. That's really bad. Shizuka thought of her yellow car. Seko held the table with one hand and held up her head. How about the minibus that the club takes to distant competitions? The key is on the wall where the key is hung. She thought for a moment and said. At this time, Hirano looked out the window for a while. The bus is in the parking lot. Hirano said. It's a good idea, but where to go? Shizuka asked. Just like brother Kongzan said. Make sure your family members are safe first. Seiko looked at Kongzan who was sleeping beside him, and then spoke. At this time Saya also walked out. I saw a Miyamoto watching TV and seemed a little nervous. What's wrong? She asked confused. What is this? Miyamoto Ra looked at the TV in disbelief. It's outdoor news broadcast. Everyone also looked up, and the TV is actually saying that these zombies are riots. Human uprising? What is a riot? Dot a riot. Komuro Takashi's A's were a little stunned. He looked at the TV in disbelief. And immediately after, the people on the TV were quickly wiped out by the zombie army. They probably said that because they were afraid of causing panic, Shea said. It's still like this? Miyamoto Ra felt confused. That's why the current situation is like this. Fear will cause chaos. Chaos will lead to the collapse of order. And if order collapses, how should people face these moving zombies? Sire pushed. The glasses were carefully analyzed. See this? Sek also smiled in recognition. Sure enough. Everything was exactly as brother Kongzan said. Then this is the case. Seko looked at Komuro Takashi again. This guy can't be kept. Because Kongzan once said that this guy's kindness will affect their development. Moreover, Kongzan also said that one must be decisive in the last days. Seko gritted her teeth. Although she also hoped to bring more survivors. But if it's a drag, more people may die. But you can't kick him out directly. You have to find an opportunity. Because Miyamoto Re seems to have a good relationship with them. If an important combat force is lost because of this guy. Then the gain outweighs the loss. This should be an absolutely safe place, right? It will definitely become the same as usual soon. Miyamoto Ra said with a little hope, but she was interrupted before she could finish. How is that possible? She said bluntly. You don't have to say that, right? Komuro Takashi felt that what Saya said was a bit too absolute, and all of a sudden their hopes were wiped out. This is a candemic. What can we do? Shea put her hands on her hips and said seriously. Candemic, Shizuka frowned slightly. She seems to know this too. Refers to an epidemic outbreak. Large-scale infectious diseases that have broken out around the world. Dot. Chapter 39 Lessons Why Wai fell asleep for a while. There was no sound of discussion around. Only then did Kongzan open his eyes. He took the book off his face and threw it away. Have we discussed everything? Let's go. Kongzan stood up and looked at everyone. Move your body a little. Relax your muscles and bones. Brother Kongzan, just let me deal with these zombies in front. Butterfly Ninja walked to Kongzan and spoke seriously. After all, she didn't want to get points in vain this time. You have to do something yourself. I don't care. They are all low-level zombies anyway. If you want to open the way ahead, I'll give you some practice. Kongzan waved his hand calmly, seemingly without any nervousness. Please rest assured. Brother Kongzan, you have helped me so much, I have to do something. Butterfly Ninja nodded slightly with a serious look on his face. Then she turned to the crowd and said, let's go, just follow us. Don't you need help? Komuro Takashi said and picked up the baseball bat in his hand. You? No need. Help will only be a burden. The Butterfly Ninja glanced at him. His gaze did not stay for more than a second, and he spoke very directly. Here she specifically pointed to Komuro Takashi. After all, if Kongzan or Xiaizi helped, she would think it was nothing. But Komuro Takashi is a bit too good. What? Komuro Takashi gritted his teeth. Don't be angry, Takashi. After all, you are not as strong as her. Her noted as words directly hurt Komuro Takashi a second time. Okay, then you can clean up the zombies alone. Komuro Takashi said he would bear it. Let's go then. Butterfly Ninja said and opened the door. Seko, Kongzan, and Shizuka followed closely behind. Behind them are Miyamoto and Sayatakagi. At the end are Komuro Takashi and her noted her. As for the destination. Of course it's the parking lot. This way, Butterfly endured the attacks one by one, showing no mercy at all. For her, these guys are dead, just like the murderous ghosts. The blood of these zombies is still red. At least he looks human. Every time Taoshi's blade was swung, 
The zombie's head would fall to the ground. That girl looks so small dot but so strong. Remiyamoto said in surprise. Looking at a girl who is only 13 or 14 years old. How on earth dot can she kill people without blinking an eye? Saya also looked unbelievable. Even at the age of 16, she could not face these zombies. Dot. But looking at girls younger than him, they can do it. What a tomboy. Komuro Takashi complained silently. Forget it, Takashi, isn't this good? We don't have to do anything. Hironota looked unconcerned, and with such a powerful guy, they felt a lot more relaxed. Although I say that, but when you look at her deadly swordsmanship and the accuracy of her slashing, she always feels like she is not like an ordinary girl, but more like Dot A Killer. And the guy called Kong Zan should be they are the strongest. The two of them are not students of our school. They came out of nowhere and always feel very mysterious. Komuro Takashi said softly to Hironota next to him. Kill. Killer. Axiao, you said so. Something is indeed wrong. These two people are definitely not from our school. But why are they here? And they seem to have learned from Buzushima. She looks very familiar to me. Hirano also thought about it seriously, and then came up with an answer. She should be Buzujima senpai's friend, right? No, I feel like it's not that simple. Komuro Takashi shook his head. His feeling told him that these people were not simple. That's all. Butterfly endures all the obstacles. We have reached the stairs. Not a few drops of blood were spattered on his body. Ah. A scream from below the stairs made everyone fearful again. It was already dusk. The black crow that had been staying nearby took flight. It seems a little weird. Let's go down. Komuro Takashi shouted quickly. No, let's take a detour. If you want to go down, then please. Let's meet the bus in the parking lot. This is the end of the world. Don't cause trouble. Otherwise, you may die, and even your companions will be implicated. Exclamation mark. Kong Zan looked at Komuro Takashi, and then spoke. In fact, he just didn't want to go and found some appropriate excuses. With his strength, he could indeed save people. But there is no need to save people you don't know. Taka, let's go. Remiyamoto felt that what Kong Zan said made sense. In this case, saving his own life was the most important thing now. So he advised Komuro Takashi. Pulling on Komuro Takashi's clothes. If you want to leave, you go. A bunch of cowards. Komuro Takashi said with determination. He shook off Miyamoto's hand and walked directly down the stairs. Hirano, let's go. Komuro Takashi glanced at Hirano and didn't forget to call him. Because he can see it. Only Hirano shared his feeling that something was wrong with these guys. Okay, Takashi. Hirano looked back at everyone, holding a nail gun, glanced at Saya Takagi, gritted his teeth, and finally decided to follow his brother. Taka, looking at Komuro Takashi's back. Miyamoto wanted to step forward and catch him, but he ran very fast. Don't worry about that guy. I just like to show off as a hero. Saya crossed her chest, raised her glasses with her fingers, walked next to Miyamoto Rei, and said unhappily. And this guy acted like a hero without caring about the consequences for the team. Compared to him, Kong Zan's plan was safer. After all, I don't know who I will meet or what trouble I will encounter. In the last days, people's hearts are unpredictable. The more people, the better. But, Miyamoto was still hesitant at the moment. Let's go. Seiko patted Ren the shoulder. Yeah. Miyamoto Ren nodded. After all, I said so. It would be too bad to go on my own. Okay, let's continue walking over there. Kong Zan urged several people. Miyamoto glanced back worriedly, but still followed the large army. That's all. Everyone followed the butterfly ninja and swept all the way. After a few minutes, I came down the other stairs. There are a lot of zombies down there. Butterfly ninja will also be a little troublesome to deal with. After all, just pay attention to the zombies in front of you in the building, but outside in this venue. But you have to pay attention to all the zombies in front, back, left and right. Xiaren, you are too tired like this. Seko and I are here to help. Kong Zan said directly. Well, thank you brother Kong Zan and sister Seko. Butterfly Ninja nodded immediately. Kong Zan and Xi Easy were on the left and right. Although Kong Zan could directly clear the field, he was lazy, so he basically fished and hit a few casually. It's enough to protect these guys and it doesn't matter what others do, quite simply, because he has no interest in other people. I'm coming too. Miyamoto held a spear-like weapon in her hand. She dealt with the zombies that were attacking behind. In the middle are Saya and Shizuka who were being protected. That's all. The two were escorted to the bus. That's Komuro Takashi. Re suddenly saw Komuro Takashi running towards him while killing zombies in the distance. Why is he the only one? Where's Hirano? Aren't they going to rescue people? Saya became a little confused. I'll go pick him up. Lee said. Xiankian planned to help Komuro Takashi. He picked up the spear and rushed forward, flax hair fluttering in the wind. She adapted quickly. I can only say that he is indeed a talented character. In order to save Takashi Komuro. Re rushed into the zombie group again. Butterfly Ninja frowned. Only Takashi Komuro ran out, and it was already obvious. Such an arrogant guy, even though he was so weak. He told me not to save him. It seems like everyone is dead except him. Butterfly Ninja said. After all, Kong Zan had said before not to cause trouble. This is the lesson. Dash. 
Chapter 40 is ridiculous, Brother Kongzhan, let me go and help her. Although Komuro Takashi is indeed not very good, I think Gris still a good teammate. I hope she can be on our team. Seko looked at Kongzhan seriously, said. And at this moment, Shizuka was already sitting in the driver's seat, somewhat confused. After all, it was her first time driving a bus. Okay, let's go. Kongzhan didn't care. Hurry up, there are more and more zombies, Shay said. She was observing the surroundings next to Shizuka. Leave the zombies around to me. Butterfly Ninja also jumped out of the car. Goodbye. Now there was only Kongzhan sitting on the chair without anything happening. That lazy look. It really seems like we are here for fun. Kongzhan said that he planned to write a novel after experiencing this trip. Just call it I travel in the end of the world. For a while, Komuro Takashi got into the car angrily. Bastard, Hirano. And them. Are all dead. Komuro Takashi got into the car. His eyes were a little dull. Ah Xiao. At this moment, Miyamoto Re didn't know what to say, although she also knows. If he had listened to Kong Zan, Ping Yi would not have died. All this is still attributed to Komuro Takashi's own arrogance. Seko was still outside to fend off the nearby zombies, otherwise the bus would probably be blocked by the zombies in front. As for Komuro Takashi, his eyes looked at Kong Zan, who was lying leisurely on the seat. I immediately became angry. He walked up to Kong Zan angrily and threw the bat aside. Then he grabbed Kong Zan by his collar and picked him up. If dot if you had taken them with you, you would definitely not have died. You bastard. Komuro Takashi punched them. Kong Zan didn't stop him either. Just let him hit you. Bang. Komuro Takashi felt as if he had been struck by something ironic. My hands are numb with pain. His eyes were a little stunned. Is this guy really a human? And on the opposite side is Kong Zan. A smile appeared on the corner of his mouth. He moved Komuro Takashi's hand slightly to the side. Because of your own arrogance, you saved some unrelated people, which led to Ping Yi's death, but it was all my fault. Oh my god, I was shot even while I was lying down. Kong Zan smiled. He was not angry at all because of the punch just now. After all dot for him, the punch just now seemed not qualified to tickle him. There is an old saying that goes well. Which adult would be angry with a child? But everyone around him was frightened by Komuro Takashi's actions. Shay was a little shocked. Is this guy such a brainless person? TSK, it seems true, Saya murmured, recalling the past Komuro Takashi. He was indeed quite brainless. Taka, Miyamoto recovered her mouth. My eyes couldn't believe it. Oh, don't fight. Shizuka turned around and quickly advised. But they can endure it. Butterfly can't hold it in anymore. She saw this scene through the glass of the bus window from outside the car, and instantly felt unhappy. Without saying anything. He got in the car. He punched Komuro Takashi in the abdomen. Bang. Komuro Takashi was beaten to the ground. This intensity is much greater than Komuro Takashi's fight against Kong Zan. Immediately afterwards, Butterfly endured a swish moment. He pulled out the niche iron sword and pointed it at Komuro Takashi. This scene frightened Miyamoto and the others. At this time, Seko happened to come up too. I happened to see Komuro Takashi curled up on the ground. Holding his stomach. How dare you hit Brother Kongzin? I think you are really tired of living. Butterfly said without mercy. Huh? He hit Brother Kongzin. Xizi also frowned, and then looked at Kongzin with some worry. Brother Kongzin, are you okay? Although he knew that with Kongzin's strength, nothing would go wrong, but Seko asked anyway. He didn't care at all about Komuro Takashi lying on the ground. How can something happen? Kongzan stood up with a smile and looked at the somewhat angry Butterfly Ninja. Maybe it was because he drank his own blood? It feels like Butterfly Shinobi has an inexplicable sense of loyalty to him. Kongzan walked behind Butterfly Ninja. He rubbed her head. It's okay. Don't worry, Kongzan said to Butterfly Ninja. Well, since Brother Kongzan said so, he hesitated. The Butterfly Ninja took back the niche iron sword. Komuro Takashi held his stomach and stood up shakily. He was also slightly calmed down by the punch. Then let's go. Seko suddenly said, wait, there are still people, go and save them. At this moment, Komuro Takashi was holding his stomach and just stood up. Through the window, he saw a group of students and teachers rushing over from the teaching building. Enduring the severe pain, he shouted quickly, paralysis, what a holy mother. Kongzan murmured unhappily. Miyamoto Re looked at this and her eyes suddenly widened. Wisteria from class in the third year. Right? Seko frowned slightly and looked at the visitor. Wisteria. Miyamoto Re seemed to think of some bad memories. Can we drive now? Their zombies in front are gathering again. If they gather again, they won't be able to move. Shizuka also looked nervously at the many zombies in front of her. There are still people outside. Zombies and the like. Just crush them. Komuro Takashi said. No pain at all. No lessons learned. Obviously this guy wants to show off his strength again. Pick up the baseball bat that you just threw aside. Idiot. This kind of car can't roll over so much. 
it will overturn. Sire also said angrily, Komuro Takashi doesn't care about that much. He was about to rush down immediately, and Miyamoto grabbed him directly. There's no need to save that guy. Miyamoto Raisi said, it's obvious that he has a lot of resentment towards Wisteria. What are you talking about? Komuro Takashi seemed a little unable to believe what Rei said. I didn't expect her to say such a thing. No need to save him. Let that guy die. Miyamoto Rei was already a little angry. Dash. At this moment, the Wisteria not far away is still pretending to be a good old man, directing the students to rush to the bus. Suddenly, a boy with glasses fell down. He grabbed Wisteria's ankle. Teacher Zaiten, I have sprained my ankle. The boy with glasses looked pitiful. Oh? Really? Then dot that's it for you. Zaiten did not hesitate and stepped on the face of the boy with glasses. The lens was crushed directly by him and stabbed into his eyes and cheeks. Blood oozed from his upper body and nostrils. I dot I, I. The boy felt the huge pain in his eye and roared. The previous world has ended. People without power have no value in surviving. As he said this, Wisteria showed a sinister expression. As the boys screamed, the zombies around were walking towards the boy. And what came to him was death. Dash, on the bus, Komuro Takashi had already thrown away Rez hand and rushed out. It seemed that he really planned to rescue these guys. Are you going to wait for him? It's ridiculous that he actually saved your enemy. Miyamoto Rei. Kong Zan looked at Miyamoto Rei. She feels a bit like a clown. Miyamoto Rei gritted her teeth and suddenly seemed to realize something. She turned to look at Kong Zan with a little surprise in her eyes and asked, You dot how do you know? Oh? Brother Kong Zan said something right again? Question mark. Wisteria dot oh. Wisteria Koichi. Is he the guy who stopped you from going to college? Seko suddenly remembered something. Kong Zan said it before. Hey, Buzujima Senpai, you know it too. Miyamoto Rei is a little sluggish. Unexpectedly? A person who has never met before and a senior sister who has just met know about this matter, but his good friend didn't know. It has been shown so obviously, but Komuro Takashi has always been so dull. It was the same before. It was obviously because of Wisteria Koichi that he skipped the grade, but Komuro Takashi thought that he skipped the grade just to be with Naga. How ridiculous. She was also sulking at the time, and she was indeed with Naga but she was only angry because Komuro Takashi didn't understand her. That's why I talked to Yong about this matter. But there wasn't anything too serious between them. After all, they hadn't been together for long. Dot. Hearing Kong Zan and Xiz's words, Miyamoto was even more disappointed with Komuro Takashi. So I started thinking in silence. There was still some struggle and hesitation in his eyes. So, for a guy like him, is there any need to keep waiting? Chapter 41 Leaving Komuro Takashi Behind She can't stand Komuro Takashi's character. Obviously people who have just met each other know it. But he doesn't know it. Miyamoto gritted her teeth. His eyes became firm. Let's drive. Teacher Shizuka. She said directly with determination. Okay, Shizuka didn't hesitate. After all, I really can't leave if I don't leave. Or I have to ask Butterfly Ninja and Seko to clean up before leaving. It's really troublesome. Dash, outside the bus. The students who were about to get on the bus were stunned when they saw the bus door closing. Hey, we haven't gotten on the bus yet. They shouted, but to no avail. The car has already driven away. At this moment Komuro Takashi also noticed this scene. He gritted his teeth. Unexpectedly, these people, and Lee, really didn't care about his life or death. He even naively thought that they would come to help him. Now, I can only keep killing zombies and running away. This time, he really couldn't protect himself. And Koichi Zaitang on the side was even more stupid. I didn't expect this bus to ignore teachers and students. Just left. Dash, inside the bus. Saya glanced at Miyamoto Rei, and then at Komuro Takashi outside the window. Combined with what Kong Zan said before. TSK. It seems that like her. I got the wrong person. She frowned. She had always been very optimistic about Komuro Taka. But he has always been too stupid and loves to be a hero. He even makes trouble now when he is unable to protect himself, which is a bit annoying. Miyamoto Re lowered his head in disappointment and shed a tear. Mainly this time. It really disappointed her. And the people in the car actually didn't really want to save them. It was because Kong Zan's words subtly changed their minds. Kong Zan once said, This is the end of the world. Don't cause trouble. They also remembered it clearly. After all, it was a strong man like Kong Zan. It deserves attention. But Komuro Takashi kept looking for trouble for them and didn't care about what they thought. Who can stand this kind of character? Okay, Miyamoto, I think it's safer to follow brother Kong Zan than him. Seko wiped her tears and hugged Miyamoto Re. Bujima dot senpai. Thank you. Miyamoto Re also hugged Seko. Everyone can just call me Re from now on. Miyamoto Re said without hesitation. You should know that this kind of title can be used by close people. Obviously Miyamoto Re wants to take the initiative to make friends with them. Me too. Just call me sire. Sire also agreed. Then you call me teacher Shizuka. Shizuka said with a smile while driving the car. Her hanging heart finally calmed down. Just call me Seko. Seko nodded. As for the butterfly ninja. He didn't bother to pay attention to them. Sitting next to Kong Zan. Brother Kong Zin. Do you want to eat rice balls? I asked my sister to help prepare it before I came here. He said. The butterfly ninja took out the still warm rice ball from his clothes. On the one hand, Kong Zan helped her too much. 
and she wanted to repay the favor. On the other hand, because he drank Kong Zan's blood, he subconsciously always wanted to do something beneficial to Kong Zan, which was also his loyalty to Kong Zan. Thanks, Xiaoren. Kong Zan ruffled her hair and took it with a chuckle. Kanye's craftsmanship is indeed worth looking forward to, Kong Zan said and took a bite. Not bad. Then Kong Zan looked at everyone. By the way, are you hungry? He said. Kong Zan bought a snack gift pack times 100 directly from the points mall. All right. This is the cheapest. Bought for one point. Kong Zan took out a large box and threw it directly on the ground. You can eat if you want. Kong Zan pointed to the box. Wow. Where did it come from? Shay's eyes widened, and she couldn't understand why such a big box appeared. It's amazing dot magic. No, this is magic. Lee was also very surprised. Thank you brother Kongzin. Lisa was also a little greedy. He picked up the knife and started to take apart the contents. Start checking out the delicious food inside. King crab meat sticks, frozen king crab, Austin lobster self-heating hot pot, electronic microwave, 100% power remaining, automatic water boiler, 100% power remaining, chocolate, cereal, milk, mineral water, bread, cakes. Seiko began to count, and the quantity of each item was quite sufficient. There are even soy sauce, sugar, salt, and various seasoning packets. Sire and Rudum founded. Are we living in the last days? Are you here for vacation? Okay, let's have dinner. Seko nodded. Sure enough, the food with the wrong person is delicious. By the way, teacher Shizuka, what do you want to eat? We'll help you cook it. Rei said to Shizuka who was driving. Dot. That's it. Shizuka parked the car in a place where there were basically no zombies. But I still have to go out because I need to go to the toilet. So the car door cannot be locked. There happens to be a remote public toilet next to it. Then there were six of them. Groups of three. A group of Kong Zan, Sire and Lee, Butterfly Ninja, Seko and Shizuka. Otherwise it will be more dangerous. Although there are few zombies nearby, it is inevitable that there will be scattered zombies. Dash, it was late at night before I knew it. Kong Zan was woken up in a daze. Huh? Is it Lee? Kong Zan opened his eyes. He found that Rez pushing him. Um dot brother Kong Zan. Well dot I want to go to the toilet. Lee said with a blush on her face and her eyes averted. After all, I'm really afraid of something happening. There must be someone protecting you when you go to the toilet. Otherwise, it would be hard to tell if a zombie suddenly comes when you go to the toilet. Aha! Kong Zan yawned, and then he said. Okay, go and call Sire. Ask her if she is going. Lee nodded lightly. And Sire then got up. She was a little angry at first. As a result, Kong Zan said, I will only go with you once. She was afraid that she would have to go there again in the middle of the night, and she would have to go alone. It feels a bit troublesome. It's better to play it all at once. I can only get up with more or less resentment. Let's go. Kong Zan went to the driver's seat and looked at the door button. The car door was quickly opened, because the public toilet is not far away. So you can also take care of the bus door side. Okay. Come in quickly, Kong Zan said as he looked at the two women and towards a somewhat old public toilet. Is there no light? Lee looked inside the public toilet. It was completely dark, somewhat scared. Sai gritted her teeth, also a little scared. Don't dare to go in. Shall I accompany you? Kong Zan said with a smile. No, it's okay, Lee said forcefully. That's right. This genius is not afraid. Sa seemed to have no confidence behind her words. The dark public toilet seemed to exude a strange aura. Okay. Hold on. Find an apartment to live in tomorrow. Kong Zan looked at the two of them. His eyes were slightly helpless. I casually bought a flashlight from the points mall. Then handed it to them. Go. I'm outside. Don't worry. Kong Zan smiled softly. It really puts them at ease. The flashlight dot where did it come from dot it's like magic. Thank you, brother Kong Zan. Lee was a little curious. But I still took the flashlight. Because zombies in this world have no vision, only hearing. So the lights won't attract zombies. So that's okay. That's all. The two women entered the toilet. In a dark toilet. Dot, it always makes people feel like something is going to happen. Chapter 42 What are gods? Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Sire's cry suddenly came from the toilet. What's wrong? Kong Zan ran directly in. Sire quickly pulled up her pants. Ran out of the toilet stall. When he saw Kong Zan, he grabbed his clothes. Hiding behind it. A look of panic made Kong Zan look confused. Are you okay, Sire? Lee asked. After hearing Sire's voice. Lee also finished being a little hastily. Then he walked out of the cubicle. With the flashlight in Lee's hand, the ground was suddenly lit up. There was. Something rushed over. Sire said quickly, because the flashlight was on Lee's side, and Sire saw it from the corner of his eyes in the gap under the cubicle. Plus it was dark here, so I was shocked. And at this moment, Lee took a flashlight and looked at it carefully. It's. A cockroach. Right? Kong Zan's eyes twitched. I saw indeed a few cockroaches on the ground. Without saying a word, he just stepped on it, after trampling it to death. He did not forget to twist it hard against the ground with the sole of his shoe. I'll take my revenge on you. Hurry up and leave. You're going to call the zombies. Don't be afraid of little cockroaches. Kong Zan touched Shay's head. Fortunately, 
There are few zombies nearby, otherwise, Shay said that just now, many zombies probably attacked directly. Ah dot me, I'm not afraid. It dot it was an accident just now. She quickly blushed and retorted. But he still didn't dare to leave behind Kong Zan and looked around cautiously. It seems that he is really afraid of cockroaches. He really is an old arrogant ghost. Yes, let's go. Lee, let's go back to the car. Kong Zan said to Lee, obviously wanting Lee to lead the way. After all, Lee had a flashlight, so it would be much better to be in front. Okay. Lee also understood what Kong Zan meant. Walked directly to the front. Dash, a little fuss. It counts as accompanying the two girls to the toilet. After returning to the bus, got some sleep again. Time flies. Everyone soon welcomed the first tray of sunshine in the morning. The light shone through the glass onto Kong Zan's cheek. He also opened his eyes drowsily. The butterfly ninja and Seko who were closest to him were already up. The rest of the people were still asleep. Brother Kong Zan. Good morning. Butterfly Ninja looked at Kong Zan and blinked. The face is very cute. But he looked serious. It's a bit of a contrast. Okay. Kong Zan smiled at him. Seko has already prepared breakfast. The scattered long purple hair is now tied into a high ponytail. It looks very cool. Brother Kong Zan, are you awake? I'm preparing breakfast. Would you like to try it later? This is the first time I've seen Austin Lobster of this quality. It's rare in the market, said Seko. With, still waiting for the Austin Lobster baked in salt in the electronic microwave. Of course, Zazie is so virtuous. She will definitely be a good wife in the future. Kong Zan chuckled. No. No way, Kong Zan praised. This made Seko's face become even more shy. The face is reddish. Butterfly and didn't know why. She looked a little sour from the side. She unconsciously covered her chest, not knowing what she was feeling. During this leisure time, Kong Zan opened the group chat. Kong Zan, are you all up? Kanki Ken, what's your order, boss? Kong Zan, Ed is very diligent. Kong Zan, go and do something for me. Kanki Ken colon boss. You say. Kanki Ken now completely regards Kong Zan as his boss. Kong Zan. Go to that antique coffee shop more. There is a mother and daughter who will be very miserable in the future. Try to protect them. Kong Zan, my main priority is to protect that girl. After taking the genetic enhancement potion, you should have considerable strength now. Kan Ki Ken, boss, leave it to me. What are the names of the mother and daughter? Kong Zan, the mother's name is Ryoko and her daughter's name is Hinami. By the way, they are ghouls. Kan Ki Ken colon boss, are you asking me to die? Kan Ki Ken, as long as I don't get eaten by ghouls, how can I protect the ghouls? Kong Zan. Oh, there are good and bad ghouls, Kong Zan, for example, the waiters in the antique coffee shop seem to be ghouls, Kan Ki Ken, let me go, it's real or fake, Kan Ki Ken, I often go there for relationships, Kong Zan, really, but they won't hurt you, otherwise you would have died long ago, Kong Zan, it would be best if you find a way to work there and protect the mother and daughter, they are very kind hearted ghouls, it would be a pity if they died, Kan Ki Ken colon okay. I'll try my best. Kan Ki Ken felt relieved when he saw Kong Zan's assurance that these ghouls would not eat him. If nothing else works, let Kong Zan come over and sweep everything away. Mikasa is also online now. I happened to see Kong Zan chatting, so I typed it and sent it immediately. Mikasa, by the way, when will brother Kong Zan come back? Mikasa, Yamato and the others will be worried about you. In fact, she was quite worried herself. Kong Zan, in a few days, Mikasa will help me stabilize them. Mikasa, okay. Brother Kong Zan. What do the zombies mentioned in the mission look like? Mikasa was a little curious. After all, she had never seen zombies before. Kong Zan, picture, zombie with teeth and claws. Mikasa, so disgusting. And he rolled his eyes, just like a rotting corpse. Mikasa, is this a zombie? Kong Zan, yes, zombies were also humans in the past. But after being infected with a virus, they turned into zombies and then began to attack humans. The virus is highly contagious. Mikasa colon that's it. In this case, we can only clear out all the zombies. Otherwise, how can we save the world? Kong Zan, there is really no better way, because there are many kinds of viruses that cause zombies, and they may not even be caused by viruses. If you don't know the cause, there is no way to solve it. Kong Zan, the worst way is to eliminate all the zombies, or destroy the planet and then rebuild it. Of course, I can't do the second one now. Mikasa, reshape the planet? Is this really possible? Mikasa and the others have been chatting with Zero during this time. I also know that the world is round and a planet, but. Isn't shaping the planet equivalent to creating the world? This kind of outrageous thing makes people unable to believe that it is something that humans can do. Kong Zan, of course, it can be done, but I can't do it for the time being. And after getting affirmation, Xizia and Butterfly Ninja who were beside Kong Zan also looked at Kong Zan in surprise. Although the world of Butterfly Ninja is a bit similar to ancient times, but there are trains after all. Technology is obviously not as scarce as imagined. There are several astronomical telescopes, and there is no problem knowing that the planet is round. Not to mention Seko, she lives in the age of technology. So both of them could understand what Kong Zan meant. But don't talk about creating a planet. Most people don't even dare to think about it. It's not that I dare not think about it, it's just that I simply can't do it. And there's no need to think about it. 
But Kong Zan actually typed and said, I just can't do it for the time being, and it looks very casual. Outrageous. Simply outrageous. Kan Ki Ken, boss. Are you really not a god? Kan Ki Ken typed silently. Kong Zan, now. It counts as half. Forget it. It's better not to forget it. If I were a god like this, it would be too embarrassing for the gods. Kan Ki Ken, then. How powerful are gods? Kong Zan, well, I think gods can destroy the world, create the world, change the world in an instant, and can do whatever they want to do with anything in the world. Kong Zan, I'm far behind now. The world Kong Zan refers to is not a planet or a universe. He refers to a dimension that can be directly destroyed, or even multiple dimensions. Only then, to him, can he be considered a true god. Everything else is just a false god. That is, relatively powerful mortals. That's all. Kan Ki Ken. Destroy the world. Create the world. Change the world. Boss, what you are saying are all impossible things. You can't survive even if you destroy the planet. Kan Ki Ken thought the world referred to the planet, but it is true. After all, his vision is here. No matter how much he thinks about the universe, even if he knew that there were other worlds, he would not have thought of the world as huge as what Kong Zan imagined without special guidance. Even Kong Zan only explored some ways in the world in his previous life. It was only later through the system that I realized that the world was so huge that it was almost limitless. All the characters I saw in comics and animations in my previous life were just minor characters in one world. If you want to become the master of this world, you must become a dimensional god. This is the most basic. The main difference between mortals and gods, apart from the qualitative change condition of the power of law, is vision and strength. Dash. Chapter 43 Mirage, Kong Zan, and then you remember what I told you. Kan Ki Ken colon okay, don't worry, boss. Dot. Then Kong Zan stopped caring about the group. Directly offline, Seko and Butterfly Ninja are obviously diving in the group, and Kong Zan can tell by looking at their actual state. Soon, Ren Sai also woke up. Together they helped Seko make breakfast. Shizuka was the last to wake up. At first glance, he is a good sleeper, just had something to eat. Start discussing where to go next. In order to get the plot back on track, Kong Zan gave a little guidance. Teacher Shizuka, do you know of any empty apartments? Kong Zan asked. Me? There is indeed a friend who has an empty house that can be used. Shizuka nodded and said. Boyfriend? She asked curiously. The look in his eyes seemed a little strange. As if he wanted to hear gossip. No, it's a female friend. But she is busy with work and is often at the airport, so she gave me the room key and asked me to ventilate her house. Shizuka waved her hands quickly and started to explain. What do you think? Kong Zan looked at Rei, Seko and Shinobu. I have no problem. Seko shook her head and said, That dot that's okay with me. Lee hesitated, because she was a little worried about her father. But she also felt that it was good enough to maintain the status quo. You can have so much to eat, even better than what you usually eat, and you can still chat with your friends as usual. After experiencing the zombies, she suddenly discovered how popular being around Kong Zan was and how wonderful her daily life was, and she still wanted to keep it. It could be said that all the sense of security was given by Kong Zan, and thanks to his casual look, she mistakenly thought that this was not the end of the world. In fact, Kong Zan gave her a lot of help invisibly, and gradually captured her heart. So she still kept her worries about her father in her heart. My father is a policeman, so he will be fine. She comforted herself like this. I listened to brother Kong Zan's arrangements. Butterfly Ninja has always been like this. When she came to this world, she basically focused on Kong Zan. Kong Zan looked at Ramiya Moto in surprise. Because in the original work, she was very anxious about her father. Although it may just be that he is anxious. Otherwise, why didn't I find my father after reading the original work? To be honest, Miyamoto is still a more realistic girl. Okay, then let's go to the place where Shizuka said. Let's go. No one had any objection. Kong Zan nodded lightly. That's all. A group of people were inside the bus. Action began. Shizuka sat in the driver's seat of the bus, thinking about the route in her memory. Others were scattered throughout the bus. Look around. Kong Zan and Butterfly Ninja were sitting at the end of the bus. Xiaonin, by the way. Do you think you can kill Shang Xian with your current strength? Kong Zan asked Butterfly Nin. Shang Xian, I haven't fought before, so I don't know the specific strength. But fighting Shang Xian too, is still a bit difficult. Butterfly Ninja is also very vague about Shang Xian's strength. So he said this. That's it. Don't worry, take your time. If it doesn't work, you still have me. Kong Zan rubbed her head. But if she drinks his own blood, her strength won't be too bad. In addition to various abilities, her resilience is also pretty good. Thank you. Brother Kong Zin. Butterfly Ninja lowered his head. Let it rub. His usual serious face faded away. He showed a rare and well-behaved look. Then Kong Zan took back his hand. He stopped talking. He closed his eyes and looked at his information. Name, Kong Zan Gender, Male Age, 18 Possessed Character Ability No Side Effects, Ghost King Musin, Step King Domenishi, Ain't So Well Gown, Bone King, Possessed Bloodline, No Side Effects Pure Abreed Race Demi Human Holding Ability No Side Effects. Vector Operation LV5 Holding Skill, 
advanced three color domineering holding props, slavery chain times eight, gene enhancement potion times thirteen, snack gift pack. There is a ship, the enhanced wisdom version. Only sunshine holds the law, a trace of low level power to destroy the law. Strength, quasi cosmic level, quasi low level god. Mission, one main line prevent Hancock from being abducted and sold to the celestial dragons. Two long term mission. Looking for crew members four tenths, note, must be a formal crew member. What is required is two-way travel. Forced servitude does not count. Sure enough, we have entered the realm of gods. But only by using the power of law can one be considered a god. No need to go before the rules. He is still immortal. As for the snack gift package, it is the leftovers from the previous one-point purchase. The same goes for infinite energy flashlights. Because Ren Sire were afraid of the dark, they bought a set directly for one point. Daily necessities are quite cheap, and many of them can be bought in sets for one point. One set is 100 pieces. Dot I don't know how long it took. Everyone was almost dozing off in the bus. There are zombies ahead, Shizuku exclaimed. Everyone was in high spirits. Kongzan was the first to appear next to the driver's seat. Look at the zombies in front of you. Those are hundreds or thousands of zombies. It's okay. You continue to rest, Kongzan said calmly. Kong. Young Kongzan. But, Shizuka's hands controlling the steering wheel were trembling. Very overwhelmed. If the bus drives directly over, there is a high probability that it will overturn. Nothing. Kongzan raised his hand slightly. A terrifying aura covered the front. Then he dropped his hand in an instant, before Shizuka could react. Shua, all the zombies in front disappeared. Kongzan destroyed all these zombies in just an instant. These zombies all turned into dust. Even Shizuka was confused. Don't know what happened. And this time, the girls came up later. Where are the zombies? Lee was a little confused. There were obviously no zombies in front of her. Not only are there no zombies, they are also outrageous. Not a single one. Teacher Shizuka, are you scaring us? This joke is not funny at all. Saya said feeling a little confused. No. Eh? There was clearly just now. What's going on? Question mark. Could it be a mirage? Shizuka said nervously. She hasn't discovered that Kongzan did all this. But very confused. But Seko and Butterfly Ninja glanced at Kongzan. There was more or less speculation in their hearts. This isn't a desert. So how could it be a mirage? Saya said speechlessly. Then he returned to his place. Why are you nervous if there are no zombies? Saya took out a chocolate and started eating it. Anyway, it's okay. Lee felt relieved. Everyone also returned to where they were. Shizuka looked at Kongzan curiously. Could it be him? But he shook his head again. Shake the thought away. It's impossible to think so. Shizuka murmured softly. After all, it is indeed impossible to deal with so many zombies out of thin air in an instant. This kind of thing is simply beyond ordinary people's cognition. If it existed, it would be even greater than Superman. However, Dot Kongzan's behavior just now was indeed too bland, as if he knew this would happen. That's why she had this idea. But she was naturally dumbfounded and didn't think much about it. After all, she still had to drive seriously. After thinking for a moment, he focused on driving. Chapter 44 Relaxation After running around, after running all the way, we finally reached our destination. But there are many zombies around the apartment, until these zombies are cleared away. Only then did everyone enter the apartment. It's getting dark. But this place is big enough. Kongzan casually took out three more boxes of snack gift bags. Just take care of it. Wow, how did these things appear? Lee looked at the three big boxes on the ground in surprise. Are you a magician? No no. I always feel like I'm using magic. How is it possible to do something like this? She looked at Kongzan in confusion. Then he looked at the three big boxes on the ground. Outrageous. I always feel that I have encountered more and more outrageous things recently. Harm, what's the point? Kongzan smiled and shook his head, and then said again, which should I take a bath or eat first? You see. After that, Kongzan went to the second floor first. Saya lifted her pink ponytail. I'm too dirty. I'll take a shower first while I can, Shay said, taking the lead in entering the bathroom. In fact, she wanted to wash it alone. Well, let's take a bath together first. Sek also nodded. Okay, Shizuka also agreed. That's all. The girls walked into the bathroom. Dash, after a while, in the bathroom, Renvid Shizuka's majesty. Without saying a word he attacked. There were constant moans in the bathtub nearby. And Seko, Saya and Shinobu. He sat next to him and wiped his body. It's really, it's not a tepid pornographic game. Why do all girls have to go into the women's bathroom together? Saya listened to Ren Shizuka's play. It makes strange noises from time to time. It made her a little irritable. Saya, actually you know that. Right? Seko said. It means that everyone takes a shower together. Save time and have fun while relaxing. Of course I know this, but when we think about our situation, we shouldn't be so calm. Shay said, while scratching her hair with shampoo in annoyance. Seko turned on the nozzle. Cold water was poured on Saya. A cold irritation suddenly appeared on Saya's skin. You, Shay was suddenly startled. He couldn't help but moan loudly. But it also allowed her to vent a lot. The sound is much better than I thought, Seko said teasingly. And Saya immediately fought back. He took a basin of cold water and poured it directly on Seko's buttocks. Ah. Ah. Feeling the coldness, 
Seko immediately hugged her legs. Compared to Saya, Seko's voice is more ladylike, somewhat tolerant, and has a more mature feel. Then he smiled at Saya, as if he didn't care about the cold water she poured on him. Damn it, my reaction at this time is the same as that of a big sister. She felt her temper rising again. And Seko stood up now. He aimed at the butterfly ninja. Xiao Shinobu, let me rub your back. Seko walked up behind Shinobu. Sister Seko. Then dot thank you. Seriously. Butterfly Ninja is the one who can't let go the most. She is only 13 years old. First time in this world. It was so embarrassing to suddenly take a shower with a group of girls. Feeling the softness on his back, the tension of Butterfly Ninja completely dissipated. Sister Seko, does Brother Kongzen think I'm too weak to help? I feel like I didn't do much today. Shinobu murmured to himself. How could it be? Xiaonin has done a good job. You must have killed the most zombies along the way. Seko shook his head. But I may have to ask Brother Kongzin for help later, and I got so many points for nothing before. I feel like I owe Brother Kongzin a lot of favors. Shinobu sighed, slightly annoyed. Brother Kongzin doesn't care about these little things. He's not that kind of man. I think he's very generous, Seko said directly. By the way, you are all familiar with that dot Kongzan. Why do you call him Big Brother? Is it because he is very strong? She also asked curiously. Yes dot he is very strong, but calling him Big Brother is our choice and we are willing to call him Big Brother. Xiren and I can be considered his little brothers. Right? And people very good, he will help me if I have any difficulties. He is a good man worth trusting, Seko said to Saya with a smile. Sai, you can let Seko Senpai say this. I don't know how strong he is. Saya couldn't help but want to explore this man. By the way, little sister Nin doesn't look big, why is she so powerful? She looked at Nin again. He also expressed his doubts. Me? Awesome? Not really. I'm just a person who can't even protect my family. Shinobu's words seemed quite mature. Her eyes always showed her seriousness. Ever since Kong Zan told her that her sister would die, and he would also die for revenge, she was a little weak for a while. After all, her father and mother had been killed by ghosts long ago. If her sister died again, she would really have no reason to live. Until that mission. Kong Zan let her get 5,000 points in vain. When I bought the genetic enhancement potion, she felt empowered. Power several times stronger than before. This was the first time she had any hope of defeating Shang Xina and guided her to buy something. Breath of flowers, sun blade, armed color, seeing color, patterns, transparent world. With these, her strength is several times stronger. And Kong Zan kept telling her that he would help her. Only then did I feel relieved a little. I feel that there may be hope for me against Shang Xina. No, as long as Kong Zan is here. There is definitely hope, huh? Question mark. You are so powerful. How could you? Saya was a little dumbfounded. She thought Butterfly Ninja's family had passed away. But Butterfly is so strong, but he can't protect his family. So who is the one who killed his family? Are they the kind of gangsters with guns? It's over. I can't figure it out anymore. It's okay. Brother Kongzen is here and everything will be fine. Seko comforted Butterfly Ninja. Yeah. Butterfly Ninja nodded slightly. Saya looked at the two of them suspiciously from the side. When talking about Kongzan, not only Shinobu's eyes were filled with light, but even Seko's eyes were filled with light. This man is really amazing. That's right. Saya remember the time when she went to the toilet before. He was startled by the cockroach and screamed. But within five seconds Kong Zan rushed in. He reacted faster than Lee next to him. This kind of boy who makes people feel safe. We have only been together for a short time. I actually kind of like this guy. She thought silently. Dash, Kong Zan has already gone up to the second floor. Pry open the iron cabinet. There were three guns inside. The first, M14 series semi-automatic rifle, is called Springfield M1A1 Supermatch, with a total length of 905 mm and a weight of 2.53 kg. The ammunition is 0.30 inch carbine bullet, 7.62 mm x 33 mm, and has an ammunition capacity of 20 rounds. The second one is a sniper rifle, named Knight's SR-25 Armor Light AR-10 modified, with a total length of 1,118 mm and a weight of 4.88 kg. The ammunition is 7.62 mm x 51 NATO bullets and has a capacity of 20 rounds. I also brought a magnifying glass, which looked like an 8 power lens. The third shotgun is Ithaca M37, with a total length of 1,017 mm, a weight of 2.3 kg, and a caliber of 12 no. Shotgun X4 rounds. These are all guns made in the United States and imported. Then there is a crossbow in the cabinet next to it. Kong Zan classified all the ammunition and weapons and put them on the table. It will be available then. Chapter 45 Rules. Kong Zan was lying on the bed, opened the chat group and took a look. Speaking of which, can we directly use the points upgrade method? Kong Zan looked at it curiously. After all, 
it's too troublesome to deal with normally. I don't know how much damage it will take. I destroyed hundreds of zombies before, but the power of law in my body barely increased at all. So it's better to cheat. Kong Zan turned over it for a while. It really does. Is it to strengthen the skills? It's also the group leader's privilege. It actually takes 10,000 points to upgrade to a low level law of destruction. Now there are only more than 4,070 points. Forget it. Forget it. It's much easier to upgrade than doing serious work. Actually, it feels pretty good to buy and sell. Kong Zan murmured softly. If he didn't have a system, he would probably have died in the pirate world. And I didn't expect that there are main systems and subsystems. The main system is the task system. Post tasks, complete tasks and get rewards. It is simple and crude. The subsystem is the system of the Zushin Chat Group, comprehensive comic series. It has too many functions, such as checking in, sending red envelopes, and sending tasks within the group. It has more functions than the main system. Really, I can't even tell which one is the main system. But speaking of it, the main system is a bit like a novice activity, and the subsystem is like a new activity that is started when the level is reached later. Just like the game. I don't know if more interesting systems will be added in the future. Kong Zan looked through the points store again. It is discovered that there are mainly three kinds of initial laws. The law of destruction, the law of creation, the law of time and space, even though I can't afford it myself. In addition to these three laws, there are actually other laws of power, but these three are the most primitive and ancient. The power of other laws is also derived from these three basic laws, such as magic laws, elemental laws, biological laws, plant laws, etc. These are not as powerful as the initial laws. There will also be the law of fire, the law of water, the law of man, the law of tiger, etc. This one is even weaker. Simply put, the more detailed the division of the law, the smaller the potential of the power of the law, and the weaker it will be. The laws of fire, the laws of water, etc. are actually included in the laws of elements, and the laws of the elements are contained in the laws of creation. It is such a layer by layer wrapping relationship. The outermost layer wraps most of the laws and is naturally the strongest. The intensity of breaking the law is self evident. Everything in the entire dimension can be destroyed, that is the extent of the essence of the law of destruction. When Kong Zan was still studying the rules, Seko came up, wearing only a white apron. Her long purple hair was tied into a high ponytail again. Brother Kong Zan, it's time to eat. Asleep, Xizi reminded Kong Zan. It turned out that Kong Zan was lying on the bed, not sure whether he was asleep or not. Okay, here we come. Kong Zan sat up. I was so focused on the power of law just now that I didn't realize that Seko was calling me. Didn't it disturb you to sleep? Seko smiled softly. No, let's go down. Kong Zan shook his head. But the thoughts of those laws haven't jumped through my mind yet. Then... He turned around and saw Seiko's revealing clothes, somewhat stunned. I'm wearing nothing but an apron. Internal vacuum? And almost the entire fair skin on the back is exposed to the air. But, it's really eye-catching. See Kong Zan staring at his clothes. This? Because there is nothing that fits. I want to deal with it before washing the clothes. Is it too obscene? Sorry. Seiko put her hands on the apron and tugged it a little. It's pretty. But don't wear it like this when you go out. It's really sentimental. Kong Zan moved his eyes. Really? I'll pay attention. Seko looked serious. Kong Zan actually wanted to say that he could use points to buy clothes. But since I didn't expect it, then let's not talk about it. How eye-catching it looks. The two of them walked downstairs, and Kong Zan said it was more eye-catching. Rensai were wearing shoulder suspenders and underwear. As for Shinobu and Shizuka, they were surrounded by a large white bath towel. I lost. Heaven? The development of girls in this world is surprisingly good. But Kong Zan still sat down pretending to be calm. On both sides of the position are Seko and Shinobu. And everyone looked at Kong Zan. After all, the food was given by Kong Zan. I felt a little embarrassed to eat it first. It all depends on what I do. Let's have dinner. Kong Zan said with a smile. No sense of oppression at all. Full of kindness. Ahem. Looking around. Xi Aran is the flattest one. Kong Zan looked at Xi Aran. Shinobu Chan is so pitiful. It doesn't matter. They are all bad people. Don't compare with them. Kong Zan began to figure out the plot on his own. Let's eat. Let's eat. Sai also looked excited. Everyone started eating. Shizuka also took out some small wine and drank it. Re drank some too. The two women immediately became drunk. By the way. Kong Zan Jun is really amazing. He made so many zombies disappear at once. Shizuka said in a daze. The body is a little shaky. I did kill a lot of zombies. Much more powerful than Xiao. But, Xiao must have been killed by me. Lee felt a little regretful. After all, we have been friends for so many years. It was indeed a bit impulsive at the time. HMPH. That guy who can't figure out the situation deserves to die. She said with an angry look. Then this guy has nothing to say. If we keep letting him follow us, it will only cause more chaos. Maybe we will die because of him. Renzi said. After all, 
Komuro Takashi was too hesitant and not decisive at all in killing. He went to save people even though he was incapable of doing so. He failed to save people and ended up killing so many people. The result was blamed on Kong Zan. Ren thought silently. Komuro Takashi is indeed a little too irrational. In this situation, it is enough for us to take care of ourselves. Seko nodded. In the end of the world, as a team, we should have planned actions. Takashi Komuro ignored the team and acted alone. This behavior is really stupid. If we don't save Hirano, maybe Hirano is still alive. If he is saved, Hirano and ask for help everyone is dead. Sometimes, being a hero has to pay a price. Kong Zan said bluntly. He also poured a glass of wine and took a sip. Brother Kong Zan is right. You still have to be brave when it's obviously useless. Even if we save him once, he will still be like this next time. What's the use? Ren nodded. I very much agree with what Kong Zan said. Li thought for a while. And indeed it is. Komuro Takashi has always been so stubborn, which is what Ra hates most about him. Nagaya is dead, and Komuro Takashi is most likely dead. Now it is the best choice to follow Kong Zan by yourself. You guys go up and sleep after eating. I'm going to take a bath first. Kong Zan stood up after saying that. Seeing the women responded. Kong Zan walked to the bathroom. Chapter 46 Seko's Wife Turn on the bathroom light. As soon as I entered the bathroom, I smelled a scent. Kong Zan took off his clothes. Fill the bathtub with hot water. Then he walked in. Ha! Huh, the temperature is just right. Taking a bath is one of the great pleasures in life. Kong Zan lay back in the bathtub with a comfortable expression on his face. I feel relaxed both physically and mentally. Open the chat group. Now I watch group chats as often as I used to watch penguins on my phone. After all, I am an old internet addict. Kong Zan, at Zhang is dead. Red eyes, dead. Say you and I cooperate very well. Red Eyes, the mission also went well. Kong Zan, that's good. Red Eyes, brother Kong Zan, Xu is very strong. Kong Zan, of course I know, otherwise why would I recommend a night attack to you? Kong Zan, by the way, you have the opportunity to help me check my whereabouts. Red Eyes, who? Shitong was used to it. After all, Kong Zan could already see the future of his world. Kong Zan, his name is Tasmi. Kong Zan, or you can ask Xu to check. Red Eyes. I understand. Seiyu and I will find a way to check it out. After Chitong replied, she spoke to Seiyu beside her. Because the two often practice swordsmanship. They have a particularly good relationship. Number. The two of them were having a barbecue outside late at night. Because time flows at different speeds, it can already be considered a late night snack here. She was a little surprised at first that Kai Tong could also chat with Kong Zan across dimensions. Then he began to seriously think about the method. Kong Zan, and how are you doing there? Kan Ki Ken, boss Kong Zan. I have no problem here. I successfully became a waiter in an antique coffee shop, although they did not agree at first. They agreed later for some unknown reason. Kong Zan, after all, as ghouls, they also want to integrate into human society, and maybe they want to use you as a starting point. Kan Ki Ken, yes, the store manager and others are very nice people. You can't tell that they are ghouls at all. Kong Zan, just a reminder, don't take the initiative to tell them that they are ghouls. After all, it will be very dangerous. Gaining trust in the first place is the most important thing. Kan Ki Ken, why does it feel a bit like an undercover agent? Don't worry, boss, I will definitely not be exposed. Kong Zan, how can we be undercover? We are also trying to find ways to protect them. My idea is to create a world where ghouls and humans coexist. Kan Ki Ken, is this a world where ghouls and humans coexist? It sounds good. Kan Ki Ken, then just work hard. If ghouls and humans could coexist. So in the beginning, Miss Li Shi might have some trouble with him. Right? Kan Ki Ken thought silently. Dash, chatted for a while. Kong Zan washed himself a little. Put out the water. Start by wrapping the tail around your waist. Then he wrapped himself in a bath towel and walked out, just covering himself. Kong Zan has good skin and a good figure. Just got out of the bathroom. I saw Seko in the kitchen cleaning the table where after the meal and preparing for tomorrow's meal. As expected of you. Kong Zan also walked into the kitchen and praised. Seko turned around and took a look. Kong dot brother Kong Zan. Seeing Kong Zan's figure. Seko couldn't help but look shy. You have a really good physique. Seko praised. No way. You are pretty good. Zizi. Perfect S figure. And virtuous. Kong Zan smiled. But isn't it a bit weird to praise like this? I. I'm actually not that good. Seko seemed to suddenly remember something. He looked a little disappointed. That's great. If possible. I'd like you to be my girlfriend. Kong Zan smiled teasingly. Wa dot what? Am I being confessed? Seiko said with a smile, pretending to be calm. What? Isn't it good? Kong Zan grabbed her hand. No, brother Kong Zin. Maybe you don't know the real me. If you knew, you wouldn't like me. Xi Easy's A's were a little downcast. I know. Kong Zan said. Huh? Xi Ang Tsai's eyes suddenly widened, and he raised his lowered head to look at Kong Zan. Is it because you think you have violent tendencies? And what happened when you were a child? I know everything. Kong Zan looked into her eyes. But Seko was a little uneasy. But dot but, I killed him, and I'm still very happy. A person like this is intoxicated by power and happy in it, like me. Zazie murmured, 
with some excitement in his eyes. But it's not finished yet. Kong Zan hugged her directly, then kissed him. Well, Xiang Zi looked at Kong Zan in shock. Parted lips. That's enough, Zazi. You are not wrong. Please don't mean anything. Don't think this is wrong. On the contrary. I think you are very talented in fighting. You are a girl worth relying on. Kong Zan looked at it looking into her eyes. Seko's purple eyes match her purple hair very well. Really? People like me can also. You can also have. Seko's tone was still a little uncertain. Of course. You are a great girl. Kong Zan said with certainty. This sentence, letting Seko break his guard, tears flowed out unconsciously. He hugged Kong Zan's naked body directly. Her head was nestled in his arms. It's nothing. If you want to kill from now on. Just kill as many as you want. Kill as fast as you can. Kong Zan rubbed her hair. But the sin's on my body. Seko said again. Nothing. Sin? There must be a law to punish you. As long as it is strong enough. You are the law. This is not a sin. If I still feel uncomfortable with you, I will bear it with you. Dot. How are you? Dot Zazi. Kong Zan's tone gradually became gentle. Is it really okay? Feeling the warmth of the other person's body. The obstacles in Seko's heart seemed to be melting away little by little. It's the last time. Okay. Did you hear it well? My wife. Xizi, Kong Zan said in her ear. Well, Seiko took the initiative to grab Kong Zan's hand, and put his other hand around Kong Zan's neck. He took the initiative to kiss her. Kong Zan also responded. When I read the original work, I screamed like a wife every day. This time I finally received a response. But, not married yet. Wife or something. It's too early, Seko said with a shy face. That's so girly. She still has the sassy look before, but she has been transformed into a girl in love. Sure enough, if the strategy points are correct, it is easy to capture this little beast. Okay, then I'll just call you Zizi as usual. How about that? Kong Zan said with a smile. That's okay. Seko nodded slightly. I'll just call you Kong Zan. Calling you brother Kong Zan seems too unfamiliar. Is that okay? Xi Easy asked Kong Zan. No problem. Kong Zan was very happy. After touching Seiko's little head, Kong Zan was in a particularly good mood. So, from now on, I will let you go and fight. If you feel guilty, I will bear it with you. Okay? Kong Zan reminded him again. I understand. I won't let you down. My future husband. Seko's face was red, and her eyes turned into crescent moons when she smiled. Chapter 47 Save the little girl. Okay, go up and have a rest. They have laid the floor and are waiting for you. I'll pack these up and go up. Xiang Tsai said to Kong Zan. With Kong Zan by her side, she was very happy at the moment. Okay, I understand. Come up quickly. Kong Zan finished. He went up the stairs. Shizuka, Ren Saya were all asleep and they were all sleeping on the floor. Ren is still waiting for himself. She was wrapped in a quilt. After all, she was naked, so it was better to cover her up with the quilt. Brother Kong Zin, there is only one bed, and we all agree to let you sleep on it. After all, it is only thanks to the leadership of Brother Kong Zin that we can reach this point. Ren said seriously. Is that so? Then I'll be welcome later. Kong Zan nodded, and then walked onto the balcony. Over the bridge, in the distance, shots were fired. It looks like there's some chaos over there. It's probably the police in this world fighting zombies. Oh, I wanted to try my luck, but it seems that I actually met it. Kong Zan saw the mansion not far away. There was a man with white hair parted in the middle and wearing overalls who collapsed on the ground. It looked like he had collapsed. Next to him was a crying little girl. If nothing else happens, the little girl should be Shirley Alice. The little girl in the original novel. There were already many zombies around her attacking her. Xiaren, I'm going out for a while. Kong Zan said. Tighten the towel around your waist. Jump directly. Huh? Xiaren saw this. He quickly wrapped himself up in quilt and ran to the balcony. Want to see the situation. As for Kong Zan, just a few seconds. He appeared next to Alice, looking at the body of the man beside him. If I remember correctly, he was killed by this family. He was taking his daughter with him and had nowhere to go. There were only zombies outside. He wanted to ask the family for help but the people inside the mansion killed him. It really depends on the human heart in the last days. Kong Zan looked at the mansion next to him. He looked at the man's body again. Little girl, your father is very great. Kong Zan knelt down and touched the girl's head. You 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 The girl cried. Kong Zan didn't care about the zombies around him. Instead, he pointed his palm towards the mansion. Sure. It was just a matter of a moment. The huge mansion instantly turned into powder. Of course, it's just the mansion. After all, it was impossible to let the people inside die so easily and the girl's further sounded quite pitiful. Just die to humanity in this last days. Then, Kong Zan immediately flew up with the girl in his arms. At the same time, Kong Zan also used the power of law to destroy the iron gate of their yard. Although there are some overkill, but let's just treat it as punishment. The house lost its iron gate, and zombies swarmed in, because the mansion instantly turned into powder, as if disappearing out of thin air and the people inside were exposed to the outside air. Some people on the second floor fell directly to the ground. The surrounding zombies roared and attacked them head on. Looking at the zombies around them, 
these people quickly started to flee. The fear of the zombies made them even afraid to fight. If you don't fight, then you will die. Learning Wukong is not in vain. Kong Zan said to himself, as for the people in the mansion who killed the girl's father, they will all die at the hands of the zombies around them. Ah, uh, this is divine punishment. Dot. Heartrending screams came from over there. Shinobi, on the other hand, was stunned. Such a big mansion disappeared in an instant. Brother Kong Zan. He is really a god. And he actually flew in the sky. Shinobi looked surprised and murmured softly. Kong Zan had already flown back with Alice in his arms. After all, this battle is meant to be a crushing game. Kong Zan put the child on the bed. Little girl, what's your name? Kong Zan asked symbolically. Alice. Siri Alice. Alice answered. The tears still kept flowing. He kept sobbing. But it's much better than before. Father, is he dot really dead? Alice asked Xiang Kong Zin. He is a great father. Kong Zan nodded lightly. His face also looked a little helpless. Touched Alice's head. Woohoo. Alice hugged Kong Zan and cried. Only in Kong Zan's arms. Only then could she feel some warmth. Seko came up at this time and saw Alice in a daze. After hearing the sound, Rei, Saya and Shizuka also woke up in a daze. Who is this child? Seiko asked a little strangely. Alas, Kong Zan Jun has a child. After a good sleep, Shizuka was talking nonsense in a daze. Then he fell down again. How is that possible? Shay said slightly speechlessly, and Lee gradually became more awake. Then this child is. Li Gang wanted to ask. Her name is Alice and she is the child that brother Kong Zan just rescued. Shinobu answered and started to explain. Oh, Li looked surprised. Zazi, please take her to take a bath. Kong Zan clasped his hands together. Please ask Seko. After all, Seko had just come up, so he was probably a little tired. But among the people present, I felt that Seko was the most mature. It's better to leave things like taking care of the baby to her. Okay, Seko nodded and did not refuse. She looked at the girl curiously. After all, Scenes of Kong Zan rescuing people are somewhat rare, and he still saves unimportant people. Alice, right? Let's take a bath first, Seko said, taking Alice's hand and hugging her. Well dot thank you sister. Alice nodded. No more crying. Feeling very strong. If you want to sleep, you'd better take a nap. By the way, Sire, your home should be big, right? I guess it's not that easy to break into. Kong Zan looked at Sire and asked. My home? As long as my father is here, it will be fine, Shay said matter-of-factly and then looked at Kong Zan curiously. How do you know? You seem to know something about my family. Kong Zan smiled slightly. How about we leave for your house tomorrow? Kong Zan asked. I have no problem. She nodded. That's good, you go to sleep first. Ren Shinobu should go to bed quickly, or they won't be energetic tomorrow. Kong Zan said to the two women. Okay, I understand, brother Kong Zin. The two replied immediately. That's all. Kong Zan was sitting on the bed. Surrounded by girls. Wait until Seko comes back. Kong Zan asked Seiko and Alice to sleep on the bed together. Alice sleeps in the middle. Kong Zin and Xi Easy slept on both sides. A very harmonious scene. After all, Cezy had to work a lot, and Kong Zan felt a little bit guilty for not letting her sleep on the bed. Just like that, I simply slept. Dash. The next day, Seko got up early to prepare things. Then, the rest of the people also got up one by one and looked for clothes in the room. In the end, Kong Zan bought clothes for them to wear in the points store. See this. Only then did Seko and Shinobu think of a points store. After all, they are rarely used. I only buy it once in a while. At this time. And downstairs in the apartment. There is a car named Hummer. Like a chariot. This car is much more handsome than the bus. And today. Everyone also planned to drive this car to Shay's home. Soon everyone had prepared supplies. Put the gun in the trunk. Our teacher Shizuka will still be the driver. Kong Zan sat in the back seat. Seko on the left. Shinobi on the right. There is also Alice on the leg. If you say it's good, it's pretty good. If you say it's wrong, it's pretty good. Anyway, it's pretty good. Wonderful, wonderful. Chapter 48 Strengthening Seiko on the left is holding Kong Zan's arm and falling asleep leaning on Kong Zan's shoulder. It looks like they are a real couple. But they are indeed considered a couple now, right? Kong Zan touched his chin and thought. And Kong Zan glanced at Ren next to Ren. Um, Lee's look? Seems a little envious. No way. Kong Zan looked back inexplicably. I thought to myself. Doesn't Lee like herself too? Ahem, uh -huh. it's pretty good though. He shouldn't become brother gat touching, right? Maybe. It doesn't matter, as long as you handle it well, you will become Hayao Duesai. If it's not handled well, then it's Makoto Ito. Kong Zan suddenly felt his scalp numb. Don't worry about her, just let nature take its course. Don't think about it so much. This time he planned to settle these people in Saya's house and then take Seko away. In this case, the mission should be completed. After all, the mission is to solve the crisis of Seko, not the crisis of this world. Just keep Seko safe. So just take Seko away and set the coordinates. Oh, by the way, Rei, Saya, Shizuka and Alice, drink this, Kong Zan said and picked up the genetic enhancement potion. Shinobu suddenly looked surprised. This is gene enhancement potion. Lee and Saya in front were a little confused. Shizuka also looked back curiously. As a result, 
The car trembled. He was about to hit a pillar. Teacher Shizuka, watch the road. Saya said quickly. I saw Shizuka drifting around. Everyone took a breath. Hadot scared me to death. Shizuka muttered to herself. I'm going to be scared to death by you. Shay was speechless. Then he looked at the potion in Kongzan's hand. Gene Enhancement Potion. What is that? Shay was a little confused. Well, it's something that can make you stronger, strengthen your body and genes. That way you can protect yourselves even if I'm not around. Kongzan said with a smile. Are you not here? Where will you go? Lee said quickly. Now she feels that Kongzan is her only sense of security. If Kongzan is not there, it will be very dangerous. Secret. Kongzan put his index finger in front of his mouth. He showed an unspeakable look. Anyway, take it. Kongzan handed a bottle to Lee, and then gave a bottle to Alice on his lap. Because Shizuka was driving, she gave both bottles to Saya. Drink it. This is Brother Kongzan's trust in you, Ren said silently beside him. After all, genetic enhancement potion is indeed a good thing. After drinking it, an ordinary person can have the power to break boulders with one punch, and can easily twist steel. It is a power beyond ordinary people. Lee and Saya looked at each other and drank. Alice drank the same. A huge force awakened from within the body. Everyone's consciousness has become much clearer. So dot so awesome. Lee murmured. She felt an extremely powerful force within her body. This kind of thing dot can't be done with the current level of technology, right? Where did you get it? She asked Kongzan curiously. Secret. Kongzan smiled slightly. Hey, I said brother Kongzan gave you such a precious thing, so you should also call me boss. Right? Ren said. Apparently he was recruiting a younger brother for Kongzan. Old Dot Boss? She originally wanted to refuse, but she thought that Kongzan had come all the way, whether it was strength, consciousness, or behavior. He was indeed qualified to be the boss. After all, this is a man traveling in the apocalypse. Ahem. Yes, after all, you protected us all the way. From now on, we may consider you the boss. The boss. Sire nodded silently, which was regarded as approval. Then I will accept Kongzan as the boss. Lee also agreed. After all, along the way, Kongzan basically felt like doing whatever he wanted. It's so easy to survive in this apocalyptic world. What the hell, teacher, I want to drink too, Shizuka yelled, facing everyone's reaction. Shizuka was very curious. Saya put another bottle of potion to Shizuka's mouth. Shizuka also drank it gurglingly. It tastes good, and it's so powerful. Shizuka's eyes were also shining. I can clearly feel the changes in my body. I have decided that Kongzan will also be the teacher's boss from now on. Shizuka expressed her approval with both hands and let go of the steering wheel. Teacher Shizuka, front. This shocked Sai again. Ah, uh, Shizuka quickly grabbed the steering wheel. Fortunately, another sharp turn. Good guy. Almost died again. Kongzan, on the other hand, complained silently. The teacher's boss is okay. Alice feels it too. It's amazing. Brother Kongzan will also be Alice's boss from now on. I can protect you in the future too. Alice, who was sitting on Kongzan's lap, also said. A happy look on his face. His hands were waving and his little feet were swaying. And Seko woke up in a daze. Rubbed his eyes. Well, Seko opened her eyes and looked at the bottles in their hands. I just listened to them in a daze. Gene enhancement potion? As expected of Kongzan. How generous. Seko smiled. As he spoke, he held Kongzan's arm tighter. Senior Seko, do you also know? Rasked with a bit of envy in her eyes. I envy Xiza for being so close to Kongzan. Yes, I have bought a bottle before. Seiko smiled and nodded. Buy? Where can I buy this kind of thing? She asked curiously. According to current technology, it's just impossible to do something of this level. This is a secret. Seiko smiled mysteriously. Oh, why are you like the boss? Re originally looked at Seiko curiously. The result is another secret. HMPH, if you don't want to say it. Don't say it. She turned her head proudly. Kongzan waved his hand helplessly. There are zombies ahead. Shizuka reminded. Kongzan looked ahead and saw that there were not many zombies. Kongzan immediately gave Lee the assault rifle at the back and the sniper rifle to Sire. Here, let's try it. The strengthened body should be more than enough to withstand the recoil of the gun. Kongzan said. Okay. They both said in unison. She directly opened the skylight and set up a sniper rifle. And Lee opened the car window next to her. Bang. Thud. Tug. Tug. The subsequent effect was equivalent to nothing for the two of them at this moment. You can easily control the gun in your hand. The scattered zombies were also quickly killed. Just like playing, after a while, the first few zombies were cleared away. The recoil of this kind of gun. If it were me in the past, I definitely wouldn't be able to control it so easily. Lee retracted the half of her body that was exposed outside the window and began to feel it. And Sire also came down from the skylight. Awesome. It feels like a toy gun. Shay sat back in her seat happily. For the first time. She felt that killing zombies was so easy. Chapter 49 Invite a fan to join the group. Ha ha, that's not true. Isn't fighting zombies just for fun? Kongzan smiled and waved his hand, looking casual. It seems really so ordinary. Just treat it all as a game, and we and our teammates are gamers, and everyone else is NPC, so there won't be any burden. Kongzan said. That's pretty much it for him anyway. Boss, this is really an interesting metaphor. Shay laughed. 
showing her little tiger teeth. At the same time, my eyes felt a little strange. So she took off her glasses. My eyesight dot has recovered too. This gene enhancing potion. That's outrageous. Shay's eyes widened and she became more and more curious about where this potion came from. Really, he said that he did not admit the wrong person. If this potion could be mass-produced, it would be a zombie crisis. Doesn't it take a few days to solve it? It would be even more extraordinary if it became popular among the people. But she didn't know. Kong Zan only had nine bottles left. It is impossible to use it randomly. After all, you have to buy it with points. Dash, running all the way. We finally arrived at the Gotching family's mansion. It was a mansion worthy of a fortress. There is a guard at the door. But as soon as he saw Sire, he let it go. After all, who in the Dakagi family doesn't know the eldest daughter of the Dakagi family, Sire Dakagi? As soon as you enter, you will see a lot of survivors. If you remember well, these guys are all idiots who haven't recognized the reality yet and just dare to stay here. Oh, by the way, Shay, be nice to your parents. After all, at least they are still alive now. Kong Zan glanced at Shay and said to her, Huh? Boss, are you trying to curse me? She was a little confused by this sentence. Well, it's nothing. I just want to control your little temper. Kong Zan smiled and shook his head. Yes, yes, I understand. Shay did not refuse. He nodded naturally. Then, a room was prepared for Kong Zan and the others. Everyone can finally rest peacefully. Dash, Kong Zan entered the room and lay lazily on the bed. Then he opened a private chat with the assistant in the chat group. Kong Zan. Mark the coordinates of this world. Chat group assistant. Do you want to spend 50 points, 10% discount on group leader privileges, to open this world travel permission? Is this still a privilege? Kong Zan opened his eyes wide and exclaimed, how wonderful. Kong Zan colon yes. Chat group assistant. Deduct 50 points. Mark successfully. Zombie 4. World number 19457. Kong Zan. Can I view marked worlds? Chat group assistant. Of course. World. One piece I. World number 985. Time travel. Y slash N. Giant I. World number 1506. Time travel. Y slash N. Zombie 4. World number 19457. Travel time. Y slash N. The world of giants. I don't know when the armored giants will attack Wall Maria. I only know that the approximate time is about a year. Kong Zan said with some annoyance. Kong Zan. Do you know when Wall Maria was breached? Chat group assistant. Not sure but we can observe it. Do we need to inform when Wall Maria is broken? Kong Zan, is there still this function? Then just remind me. Chat group assistant. Yes, enabled. Dong Dong. There was a knock at the door. Who? Kong Zan was a little confused. I am Sire Gotching. Sire's voice came from outside. Come in. Kong Zan sat up. Just listen to a crunch. The door was opened. After coming in, Shay closed the door again. What's wrong? You look so mysterious. Kong Zan felt a little strange. Um dot boss. Um dot can you tell me how you got the gene enhancing potion? She asked a little embarrassed. But she was really curious. Because she just tested her strength. One punch actually punched through the wall. And the skin is not broken. Normally. Not to mention the skin would be broken. The bones would be comminuted and fractured. And it may not be penetrated. Even a genius like her couldn't understand this kind of inhuman power. Just a potion. Then she became more and more curious. You want to know? Kong Zan smiled mysteriously. Yeah. She nodded quickly. Come here. Kong Zan hooked his hand. Seeing this. Shay did walk up to Kong Zan. Squat down. Kong Zan said again. Huh? Sire didn't understand, but still squatted down. Be good. Kong Zan touched her head. It's okay if you don't touch it. This kitten's hair exploded when I touched it. Ah, uh, what are you doing? Shay immediately stood up angrily, showing his cute little fangs and looking angry. So cute. If you don't behave, I won't tell you. Kong Zan smiled and waved his hand downwards. He motioned her to continue squatting down. Boss, you bad guy. She was furious. As a result, these two words came out, because she now felt that if the scolding was too unpleasant, Kong Zan would definitely not tell her. Then she also knelt down in front of Kong Zan and lowered his head. He looked like he was doing whatever he wanted. Kong Zan smiled even more happily. Shay, you are too cute. Kong Zan pinched her face gently. Very soft. Humphrey, I'm already like this. Why don't you tell me? Shay turned his head and said, Okay, Kong Zan was afraid that he might collapse if he continued playing. After all, we haven't tamed this little wild cat yet. Ding. Group leader Kong Zan invites new member Gotching Sire into the group. Kanki Ken, wow, it's the boss who pulled it. Butterfly Ninja, Brother Kong Zan actually brought you in. At say, you have to thank Brother Kong Zan properly. Bushima Seko colon welcome, Sire. Dot. Shay was a little shocked when she discovered the steady stream of messages and group membership notices in her mind. What dot what is this? Chat group? Shay's eyes widened, a little stunned. And it seems that both Shinobu and Seko are inside, in the Zushin chat group. You can chat with people from other worlds. Xiaren and I are from another world. Kong Zan explained directly. Alas, another world. Sire was really surprised. She never expected that such a thing would happen. But at this moment, I have to believe that, for example, 
The gene potion has exceeded the level that this world should have. What a shocking secret is this. There is a point small in the group. You can get points by signing in every day. 200 points for a bottle of genetic enhancement potion. The price is clearly marked. You can see for yourself. Kong Zan said directly without any ink. Ah dot thank you, boss. She opened the points store. Looked at it carefully. There are all kinds of weird and weird things, but she doesn't understand most of them. After all, these things encompass all realms. It is indeed normal for her not to understand. Chapter 50 on the use of blood. Shay was really dazzled when she looked at the items in the points mall. Then I gave up because I really didn't understand a lot. Besides, I can't afford anything now. At this time, Kong Zan started bleeding again. I took out a small glass bottle from nowhere. Suppress your own resilience. He took a bite of his index finger. Then dropped blood inside. Boss dot what are you doing? She was a little confused. I don't quite understand Kong Zan's intention. Kong Zan didn't answer. Wait until half the bottle has been filled with blood. He didn't continue to suppress his recovery power, and the wound healed instantly. Drink this bottle of blood. Kong Zan handed it to Shay and said. What? This is your blood. Shay was a little confused. I want to become stronger and survive in this apocalypse. Just drink this. Kong Zan looked at her. Live. Yes, you must live. But why drink Kong Zan's blood? She was very strange. But he still took the glass bottle. Look at the blood inside. Do not care. Eyes closed. He swallowed it with a gulu sound. It seems dot not bad. No dot this is human blood. Wait. There seems to be some changes in my body. A power more powerful than drinking a genetic enhancement potion. Emitted from the body. How is it going? I'm not lying to you, am I? My blood is much more powerful than any genetic enhancement potion. Little sire. Don't be ignorant. Kong Zan chuckled. His tone was nothing more than teasing her. Looking at Kong Zan in front of her, she respected him even more at this moment. Thank you, boss. Shay, who was kneeling in front of Kong Zan, lowered her head and cut out to Kong Zan. I didn't expect that the arrogant sire would still have such a time. Kong Zan was a little surprised. No doubt this may also be because of the blood, which allows him to be extremely loyal to him and obey his orders. Kong Zan smiled. How about giving it a try? Do an experiment. Dot. How can a genius like you be like a puppy? Kong Zan thought about it and spoke to She in front of him. Sire's body seemed to tremble slightly, but she still showed a smile to Kong Zan. Boss, with you here. How can I be considered a genius? A puppy. You can really say that about me in front of you. This smile was gentle. It seems that Kong Zan said there is no problem at all. He is his dog. But such behavior made Kong Zan even more interested. Kong Zan touched Sire's chin like a puppy. She had no objection and showed an expression of enjoyment. Even she herself didn't know why. It's quite interesting. Kong Zan touched her lips, nose, eyes, forehead, cheeks, ears from her chin. Shay's face was very red, but she didn't stop it. This look, so happy, is my own blood so useful? Kong Zan thought secretly. This Ghost King's bloodline, which has no side effects, is actually so powerful. So powerful. It may be that some side effects or original loopholes have been changed into positive ones. For example, some ghosts in the original work had trouble obeying the orders of Ghost King Womb, and now all the loopholes in this aspect have been directly corrected. After all, anything that is not good for you is considered a side effect. Then my blood dot isn't it equivalent to genetic enhancement potion plus enslavement chain? Absolutely amazing. Moreover, I can also see what the other party sees through dimensions, see their memories, and have direct conscious conversations. It is indeed much more convenient. Kong Zan thought about it and became even more interested. For your own touch. She also responded. He grabbed his hand. His eyes were blurred and somewhat affectionate. Is this guy still the same sire I knew, boss? She said hesitantly. Kong Zan looked at it. I'm telling you your personality is wrong. Kong Zan immediately took his hand back. Gulu, boss. I can't help it. She said with red cheeks. One hand hugged Kong Zan's thigh. It seems like he wants to do something. Did he? Forbidden. Kong Zan suddenly became slightly serious. After all, I don't want to do anything weird right now. Then he grabbed Sire's hands. You're not in a hurry, little She. There's still time in the future. Kong Zan touched her head. Boss. She seemed a little disappointed. HMPH. Boss. You are a bad guy. You don't plan to. Seduce me. Sire seemed to be pretending to be angry, but more of a shy person. Kong Zan held him in his arms. By the way, Shay, do you like me? Kong Zan asked with doubtful eyes. Well, isn't this a matter of course? The boss is powerful, reliable, smart and handsome. Shay praised him directly. Kong Zan was confused by this. Is he so good? Ahem dot really? Then, when did you like me? Kong Zan was a little surprised but asked anyway. I like when you first held me in your arms. And now I always feel a special feeling, a feeling of being inseparable from the boss, as if we have always been connected. Sai after thinking for a while, he said with serious eyes. At the beginning, didn't you still scold me angrily? Good daughter. Kong Zan laughed, and then started teasing again. The first time I called him that, I was scolded badly. But this time, the reaction was really meek, which surprised Kong Zan. Ah, boss. Do you like this? At the beginning, Sire blushed even more, recalling the first time when Kong Zan asked her to call him daddy. 
He wondered if Kong Zan had any weird hobbies. She snuggled into Kong Zan's arms and buried her red cheeks in them. Saw this expression. Kong Zan was even more stupid. No, your character is really ruined. Now Saya seems to be trying to satisfy herself as much as possible. Always moving towards yourself. Even though she said so, she didn't refute it. Have you lost your Tsundere attribute? If you think so. So will Shinobu during this period, I go. Is my blood so strong? Invisibly changing their subconscious mind. But it's really good if Saya is so well behaved. Kong Zan also smiled unconsciously. He touched Saya's pink hair. Kind of like a good kitten. T.S.K. It's so cute. Kong Zan laughed. As long as you like it. She also smiled and narrowed her eyes. Warm inside. There was absolutely no such feeling of being wrong. By the way, I will be away from Seko for a while in two days. If anything happens. You can find me through your mind. I hope you can handle the small problem. Kong Zan looked at Saya. He spoke calmly. Leaving? How long will the boss be away? She asked quickly. There was reluctance in his eyes. I don't know. I will come back when I have time. Or if something happens that is difficult for you to solve, I will come back when I have time. Kong Zan smiled and shook his head. After all, he still had to solve the tasks in the pirate world. I wonder if Yamato and the others have slacked off in their cultivation during this period. With Xiao Ling's guidance, they should not be slow to learn. After all, Xiao Ling can be considered half a subsystem, because Xiao Ling's knowledge is greater than that of the pirate world, and covers all kinds of things in the entire pirate world. However, some content is encrypted and requires Kong Zan's permission to open it. Dash.